Previously on Black Compass. Look at the Hitman and K-Sign battle. Look at Beasley's face when Hitman is killing him in there and Beasley That's looking true. like he just lost now, a now bad investment. Now, stop right there. Hold on. Stop right there on Hitman. Stop right there on Hitman. Now, Hitman is the same dude that bombs on URL in the media. He don't care. He will bomb on URL. We've seen mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. But why is Hitman still the main event when he's on the card? Because he is the draw. Uh, you proving my point. You no, proving my that's point. That's a different point. That's a different no, point. No, it's not. That's no, it's a different not. Point. 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 That's not your point. Because the point that's not your point. point yes, it is. No, it's right. not. That ain't going to work on me. That is proving <laughs> that's my point. That's not your point. Because that wasn't your point. point. That's yes, the opposite it point. Okay, Proving a brother's point. Listen, I'm going to tell you. Listen, and I'm going to tell you. <laughs> no. Because when you're doing good and you get killed, my whole point are the same thing with Twerk. Twerk is one of their highest, they, they highest sought out the battle rappers that they are invested in and marketing and promoting. He took two losses. So to protect his image, he had to dump Danny Myers from taking the third one that would have hurt his stock. What are you talking about? Right. That yeah, but the Hitman, thing. they don't even oh, really man. like Hitman. That's what I'm saying. Right. They don't, so, and they, every time yeah, they don't even Hitman, like look, him. Look, they still book him when he... Look, uh, 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 uh. And every time Hitman was on that card, he was supposed to took the fall. He was supposed to took the fall against uh, uh, k -Shine. That is true. They was work. mad that k shot battle. And he was supposed to took the fall against K-Rock, and things. that didn't work. These no, it didn't. No, it didn't. No, he came with it and took us by surprise. Let me give you some examples, too. The, the the Rex battle. The car was called Redemption. Mm -hmm. Like, Redemption. Like, he, he lost the clip. <laughs> Wait, like, that was, he was supposed to re He was supposed to redeem himself from the, the, the clip's loss by beating me in New York. And like, like, oh, you paid the nigga 12K and you gonna come out here and get killed by the nigga. Like, that's how you're gonna redeem yourself. It oh, didn't that go was that at way. the clips, damn. It, it did not go the way it was planned. Don't get cleaned up. Black Compass Media Podcast starts now. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, everybody out there, man? Black Compass, Black Compass Media, back with another one. Shout out to everybody that's out there right now listening to this on a Sunday. You know what I'm on saying? On the Lord's Day. On the Lord's mm -hmm. Day, setting your fantasy football lineups, man. I I'm currently 4-4 four four in my league. I'm trash. But um, we, we joined here. Still football? I don't even know. Right. Football somehow became powerful when I said I stopped. I was gonna stop watching it, and I'm like, <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I, I don't know. <laughs> Fuck it. Take away my woke card. Like I, I don't care. But um, yeah, you ain't woke. We here with the entire. We here with uh, two thirds of the. Uh, well, well, three fourths of the team, and, and we got a special guest on too. On top of that, now pose what up, bro? I'm here, man. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed. You brother John out at church. You know I usually be at church during these times, man. Praising the Lord. But... Right. Right. You brothers here trying to debate JJ Mills and Kayshaun. I guess I, I, I partake of this. <laughs> <laughs> Polo, what up, bro? Yo, what's good, man? Yo, listen, man. First off, some story times, Tales from the Crypt is fire. Oh, yeah, Tales from the order. Crypt is on the Patreon. Yeah, we got yeah. Marley Brothers, man. The label let me release that. Shout out mm -hmm. to Tony Bro. They, these, niggas, these brothers hold me back, man. Yeah, yeah. These brothers hold me back. But yeah, the, the album is definitely out. And uh, it's on the, it's on the Patreon, so enjoy, man. Mm -hmm. Took a long time to put that together. Three had a whole bunch of difficulty. Yeah, three of them yeah. things. So enjoy yeah, it. yeah. The intro, first off, the intro to them shits was fire. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, man. We we here, man. We here, Tone, bro. Yo, y'all killed Tone for looking Tone high as hell. Yeah. I told yeah. this. I told this rookie he gotta wear sunglasses when he do that. Man. I don't know what was up with Tone. And, you know, and, and they killed me about the sunglasses before. And I told y'all, I was like, I don't know why. I don't know how this happened. Some Asian influence in my family. Some some ancestor <laughs> blessed me with these slanty eyes. I don't know what's going on. But we we have the, the culprit of a lot of the memes. And uh and, and somebody I, I respect, I have a lot of respect for. Um appreciate this brother, everything he brings to the game. You know what I'm saying? So uh I without further ado, John Real, what up? What's up, y'all? Mr. Unelable in the building. Had a very unelable day yesterday with Battle Rap. Alabama won 29-0 and mixed martial arts, so I'm chilling. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So shout out, man. Ready to talk about this event. That's a fact. So shout to John Real. Shout to Pretty Money. Shout to the Pretty Money Podcast. And uh and everybody that's out there doing their thing like that. And follow that movement as well. 
Uh, I rock with John on the on the uh the if you ever want to catch off battle rap. If y'all in the MMA, anything like that, John <clears> is <throat> the guy to be talking to about his MMA stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, he is an SEC guy, so you know, be warned on that. <laughs> That's right, um, man. It's the best. You know, and uh, and all that. Now, before we get <clears throat> into this recap, I pose that we, yeah. we like to do this. We like to do. We like to do a uh, yeah. a, um, a disclaimer, right? Now, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I think I've crafted all the bars, but pose. Keep me honest. I usually, yeah, I usually, I usually do the disclaimers. Like right. before we even start these recaps, these are some of the best MCs in the world. Mm -hmm. We always say this disclaimer after every time we do like a big uh, event recap because we about to be dissing a lot of niggas. Niggas about to get be getting body. Yeah. So we just letting y'all know before y'all be trying to run down on tone. We mm -hmm. said y'all was the best in the world, like before we did it. So this is a fact. Yeah, so, let, let, yeah, we uh, yeah. Let's get into the let's best, get into this recap. Best MCs in the world. Every time yeah. there is a peaceable assembly amongst the culture, it should be celebrated. Um, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So you know, anytime we could do that, brothers is is making money, feeding their families yeah. and stuff like that. So proud of that. Proud of battle rap. Proud of the culture. Now, let's yeah. get into the shits. God I want to damn. talk about the I want to talk about the face offs first. Yes, I don't I don't like to just go right into the. How about the face offs? <laughs> what y'all feel about the face? You don't even see. I don't even think you seen the face offs. Huh? So I didn't. I didn't see. I did not see all of the uh, the face off material. No. Um. So, but but, but what what was uh what were the takeaways from the face off? Like, how did uh. What was the, uh, the setup and everything? All right, let's get to it, man. Let's get to it, man. Yeah. Let's get to it. What I ain't like they try to do, I start with shining because I want to just get right into the bullshit. Yeah, like yeah the, me too. I don't like the dance. Shine tried to like because remember the original like face off they had with uh with Rapmatic. It looked like Shine was getting punched on the whole time. Remember how it looked just like. So Shine like he such got the little what they call it Napoleon. Yeah, complex. the Napoleon complex. Yeah, yeah. And the way that the, the Napoleon complex. I'm sorry. The way that the world works, niggas was the way that the internet works, niggas was like telling them in the comments, like, yo, you look pussy. Like the way that J J somebody got a bat got a crazy back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's move, hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Go, go ahead, Pose. So, so so of course Shine got with the Napoleon complex. So everybody throughout that whole last week, everybody's in his comments. Yo, you look pussy. You know how these niggas talk. Yo, you don't look like Jay Mills was barking on you. We was even saying shit like yeah, that. Yeah, we was. We was. We were guilty. So mm -hmm. Shine's mind state with this this second uh face off, I'm gonna come in there mad. Pissed mm. off. Like, the nigga was like being extra out. Like he was the whole time being extra. Yeah. Fuck you, fact. nigga. Being extra. I'm like, yo, this nigga shine. So and they tried to like do some shit where they got mad at uh ARP. Yo, why you edited the footage like that? That's not how it went. It was weird. It, it was a weird face off. It started off really weird. Word? I didn't even catch it. Yeah. Yep. John, did you yeah, catch that? Yeah. yeah, I saw it, man, but I don't think it came off as how K Shine wanted it to come off. To me, he still looked like, like a follower. Uh, yeah, like when I saw just the, I knew he was going to come with that energy. Mm -hmm. You made, you let this man troll you, you let this man con control, and you follow his lead. And when you come hard and try to prove you gangster, after everybody pick on you, you still following how people want you to act. Mm. So it, it didn't seem like a, a victory to me for K-Shine. It just seemed like, you know, you make yourself look bad to me. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That's how I looked at it, too. Well, he well, had to was he that. trying to be, like, extra overly aggressive and all that? I, I like yes. to revisit yeah. uh, face-offs yeah. after events, by the way, just because I like to see how stupid niggas <laughs> sound. <laughs> stupid people look. Yeah, like, like you look dumb. Uh, so so he just tried to turn he 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 uh turned up the aggression slider. He yeah, he cuz he was like the narrative remember the narrative last week was he got barked on. So he was like very conscious of that. So he went overboard for the second face off. A little too overboard. Like you could see it like damn yo Sean, you doing a little too much, man. Mm -hmm. I, I don't mind I don't mind something natural. If that's how you naturally act when somebody come at you, we want people to be real, but like you're doing this because of people came at you in the comments because of people how they told you to look. So you know, you this is another L for me if we if we not looking at the battles, we only looking at the, what happened prior to the battles. It looked like two L's for Kayshawn to me. Mm, okay. Okay. Now, the face-offs do have a habit of stepping on the wind a little bit, and, and uh, we'll get into that as we break down the battle, because I do think K-Shine came off deferential, and that's only because, that was because, like, okay, I think about it as 
Like when I was playing ball, it was cats that it, it, I had a friend of mine named Mike that ended up going D1 that I used to look up to. He was the shortest guy on the team like me. You know what I'm saying? Like, but he was handling business out there. So if I see him one-on-one at the YMCA when I was a senior and he was in college, like there's a level of respect there. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that, that's that's what I felt like it was coming off as. And they both from Sugar Hill too. So I, I, I got that. You know what I mean? I look at every single thing, man. I'm, I'm going to give Kayshawn a very minor, very, very minor victory though because he he was so mad. He sat down next to the rain. Shout out to rain. Mm-hmm. And uh, Mill sat down next to him. And they can't sit on the same side. You know, they got to sit on the opposite side of the podium. Right. So I'm saying, yo, I don't care what happened. Whoever get up is an L. Mm. <laughs> and Kayshawn was like, I ain't moving. I don't care what happened. I don't care how stupid we look. I ain't moving. And, you know, by the time the face off started, uh, Jim, I'm sorry, not Jim, but Mills was on the other side of the uh, podium. Okay. So I get that to Kayshawn. Yeah, yeah. What was the other uh, face off takeaways? I did, I did get a chance to watch. The the joint with Rain and uh, QB and Shuni, I yeah. actually I appreciated that. I did big time. <laughs> I, I felt like they shed light on a lot of things, like in terms of battle rap and in terms of uh, in terms of like you know the history of of, of everything that's going down with with you know with ladies battle rap and whatnot. And I I thought that set the stage for the battle pretty good too. So yeah, the, my takeaway from that is just Shuni. I'm listening to to what Shuni is saying about QB, and you know she's saying she got no bars, mm-hmm. and she just has disrespect for no reason. So that put in my head, all right, let me see if she, let me see if QB gonna flip something with her disrespect, or is just gonna be blatant, just random disrespect for no reason. So right. that that Shuni made me conscious of that. So that that was something I was checking for when they battled. So so all right, so let let's do a little checklist here. Let's do a little checklist. Um, yeah. So. For the people who had the stream, you guys had the stream. How was the stream quality? What was what was uh, what how was it? How did the stream look for y'all? Yeah, how what did you it talk, look? You're talking about that? No, it was cool. It was K- it was KOTD stream, so it was cool. I mean, I think it had I, mine had like a couple stops, but for the most part, it was it was straight. Like okay, my no server crashes or nothing for me. Okay, yeah, mine was yeah, perfect, that's... man. I had nothing to complain about because I'm ripping and running. I had to watch. On my phone, listening through it through my car blue Bluetooth. So that's the worst place to do it. I had no pauses, no interruption. Mm-hmm. Crystal clear on my phone. Bluetooth came came across. I only watched the battle. Soon the battle went off. I recapped it and was chilling until they told me the battle started. So I didn't watch any in between. Mm. Okay, okay. So, okay. But, okay. all right. So let's get to the, the the event. Uh, so Wait, no, nah, but no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah, it's, sure. it's one face off. I want to talk about the, sure the ill will calico face off that was like three minutes. Okay. That's when I know they was it was gonna be a scuffle when they battled because just the energy they had. Calico niggas was in the crowd saying shit like while Ill Will was talking during the face off, mm-hmm. it went left. Ill Will, yo, yo, I'm out. We out. We not doing a face. That's why I knew it because I heard it was a scuffle last night. Like, to, well, it was a scuffle. I seen it on the um on the pay per view, so I knew that was gonna happen. I could right. already tell that battle was gonna have some type of scuffle or something. But you could tell from the face off, like the way them niggas was acting, the way at least the way Ill Will was acting. Yeah. Norm- normally, when you get a little city, big city uh, issue, it's gonna get personal. Like, like Atlanta, big here. A little city. I'm from Macon. How Macon guys mm. grew up. It's a grudge against Atlanta. Can, anything can pop off because we feel we we murderers, killers too. But y'all, we not on the map. So I, I feel that same kind of energy with Pontiac and Detroit. Or you name any big city in the small city. You know what I'm saying? Right. Outside of it, you're gonna get that tension. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? And that makes that makes a lot of sense. I said this before. I don't know what it is about about Michigan, but none of the cities like each other. Like they just don't get along as a state. Like the Flint Child niggas the hate Flint. Detroit. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they hate Detroit, Detroit. You know what I'm saying? Back and forth with pot. Like they don't. You know what I'm saying? So I I get that. And and because all everybody talk about is the D. Pause. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> And that and yeah, that, that, that making analogy is perfect because I, I got friends out there. You know what I'm saying? That if I if I say yo, you, you going back to Atlanta? I think I'm from Macon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's yeah, a, crazy. it's a different bag. You know what I mean? Yo, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Slow walking, man. Come no, on. no, 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 no. We we talk about the recap first. Now, me and Polo were at the event. At the event was yeah. cool. At the event was cool, and it was just fucking. Warm enough outside for us to uh, stand outside the event. We ended up getting yeah. getting into the event around one thirty. That's when I got into the event. Um, club drum, polo, club drum. What was your what was your assessment of the environment, bro? I ain't gonna front, man. I love club drum. Um, mm-hmm. I like 
you know, you could eat food, chill by the bar. That's what I did, man. I found a nice spot by the bar, ordered some wings, some wine. I just, I just was watching the battle. I, I'm not that crowd shit. Yeah, I'm not doing that ever again. Yeah. But yeah. but the, the the spot is cool though. It's not. It's a nice spot. It's a, RBE always like that's like I encourage people to go out to see an RBE event because it's really it's a nice spot. Yeah, exactly. Good spot. You can bring people in there. You know what I mean? Nice ambiance, nice atmosphere, and shit like that. Now we get to the battles, right? We have the we have the one SKs first. Did the yeah, one did the was, one SKs uh, appear on the pay per view? Yeah, they was on the pay per view. I was doing shit. Mm -hmm. Change of pampers. Like, I'm not watching these niggas. They got to do something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same way. I was like, I'm waiting for the big battle sign. So yeah. Gotta... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Pose, <laughs> I, I, like to, I like to get to this to Pose, because Pose yeah. is so funny with the new guys. Pose, you, didn't, you didn't hear nothing. That as you, as you was throwing that not. baby powder on baby girl, you didn't hear nothing that made you stop. You didn't hear nothing that made me stop. And, yeah, let me finish playing Red Dead, listen to this shit on the phone. Like, <laughs> Oh, I got a cop that. I ain't got that yet. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. so, um, so we did have the one SKs. Now, the thing about the one SKs is that it started. It's pretty much as soon as the uh the yeah. the, the the thing let in. You know what I'm saying? Um, the, yeah. I, 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 hold on. on. The, the, this is the thing. A lot. The one SK. All right. Now I came in on the middle of that battle. When I came in. They was waiting apparently for one of the niggas. Like, can y'all please explain to me what the, was the point of this battle? I, so okay, all right. So I need to, I, and I need to clear this up. I need to hear what ARP has to say about this. But the first one SK was uh, was Zay Smooth and uh, what's the dude name Ice Cold or something like that uh, from Oklahoma. Now that battle went along. It was cool. I gave it to do uh, from Oklahoma. Uh, pretty clear too. Um, Eh, it's okay. Nothing, nothing crazy. Now there was a long ass intermission between KD and Butter from the block. I have no idea why. Now Butter's from uh from Philly. I met him before. Power <laughs> Circle, shout out to them. Uh, I have no idea why there was so <laughs> long of an intermission. Like it was crazy. I I smoked a couple of like I even smoked the bogey. I don't even smoke bogeys. I smoked the I smoked the bogey. <laughs> Yo, hold on, hold on, y'all. Your man Tone was smoking a cigarello cigarette. Like I was. I yo, was. I, I was. I, hold on, Shout hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. I need everybody right now. To <laughs> silence. This nigga was smoking. Yo, this nigga pulled this shit out like it was some fire. Like he pulled the shit out. He was like, yo, I got this. Yo, I got this Yo, on everything I love, yo, Posey, he pull this shit out. He like, yo, yo, Al Capone make these cigarettes that's kind of fire. I'm like, cigarettes, nigga, what you talking about? This is, this he like, yo, right. yo, he pull out this big ass blunt fucking size cigarette <laughs> <laughs> and start smoking this shit. And then the nigga had the nerve to look at me like I wanted to bust down, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, <laughs> hey, yo. yo, man, that shit was strong as hell. Like the nigga used the last nicotine on earth to make that cigarette. That shit, that shit was, yo, that, yo, that was crazy. Hey yo, hey yo, everybody in the chat, shout out to 200, 288 in the uh the YouTube live right now. Uh, John, hey, shout out to the YouTube. Yeah. So John, when I when I light when I lit this shit up, yo, you should have seen Polo face. Oh my god, this nigga looked. <laughs> he looked at me. You know what? He looked at me like I had cancer. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, not that I was getting gonna get cancer from doing it. He looked at me like I already had the shit. Hey, I just yeah. want to know: was this before or after the photo? The, the no, sad this, yo, this, yo, yeah. <laughs> did that shit yeah. make you do that? <laughs> Yo, this nigga pulled that shit out way <laughs> after. Like, like the nigga. All right, so the night was over. The nigga, um, I forgot where I parked that. So the nigga was like, "Yo, I'm gonna drop you to your, I'm gonna drop you to your car." So I'm like, "All right, back." So the nigga go to drop me in my car. He pull out this big ass fucking big ass <laughs> blunt size cigarette and, and had the nerve to light that shit in his car. I'm like, "Oh, this nigga's wild." Hey. Yo, 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 I'm looking at this guy. Oh, this is a wild nigga. Can you please roll the window down? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga looked at me like, yo, you, you, you're dead. You're already dead. <laughs> that shit I was would never in my life smoke this. A cigarette on top of that. Yeah. I'm never in my life gonna smoke an Al Capone cigarette. Like that's crazy. Nah, yeah. Shout out <laughs> to Al Capone. Listen, I go to stores. I ask if they got them, and if they got them, I pick one up for the culture, man. Shout out to Al Capone, man. 
Um, yeah, shout out to Al Capone, man. That shit is crazy. But anyway, but the, so, so, yeah. The let's, space let's in between, in the building, the building started to get restless. We didn't know what the fuck was going on. Music was playing yeah. um, and, and stuff like that. How was it on the stream? What did they do? What what happened on the stream while this was going on? I feel like the one that's, what's that what they call it? One that's K's, that took yes. up like majority. Like, I think y'all would have had time to do the Calico. It will. Cause That's it, what I was I saying look, in the building. I looked my stream. Like, the stream is about four hours and 14 minutes. It's like the 1SK part is an hour and 45 minutes. Like, an hour mm. and 45 minutes, though. It took, well, like, an hour 30. So, it took y'all niggas that long to do them 1SK shits. So I, I, but can y'all explain to me who are the one SKs and what is their relation to the RBE that they had a, a hour and twenty minute battle? I see the second part. I have no idea. The first part is it. it the one SK is their farm system. Shout out to Lawrence. Lawrence, uh, you know, gets these guys from these smaller leagues or you know from different parts of the country and whatnot to come perform an RBE. And the goal is to take the best of them and give them matchups. Now, heavy half has been the only. To my, to my, uh, um, you know, knowledge, Heavy Half has been the only one from the One SK system that has gone on to get a bigger battle on RBE. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but that that's what I see now. It's their farm system. Yeah. But I don't, so I, Heavy Half came from the one. Okay. Yeah. Well, I ain't gonna that's that's a, that sound like it's dope, mm -hmm. but it, I really wish he would have just picked that for another card or, or maybe an outside. I don't like that shit. Took up a lot of the battle, like a lot of the cards. Yeah. Yeah, it took about an hour and a half. Yeah, it was a long. Yeah, it was a lot. And uh and actually now when we get to KD and Butter from the block, when they actually showed up, man, I gotta say, I was very fucking disappointed with KD. I was very disappointed with KD. Wow. Who is KD? Where are you K from? KD is from St. Louis. KD battled JC and Hitman. KD is nice. Okay. That JC hey, battle was fine. JC and Hitman already. Yeah, yeah, I think he uh he was he was uh you know he was locked for a minute and he came out. Oh wait, he was the dude that gave Hitman ten thousand. Yeah, yeah, on some like yo, let's get this shit going. This Hitman's you know homeboy from the round the way, the hood and shit like that. So they had a battle. Battle was actually pretty good, and and then he had the KD uh or well, the JC battle, and that battle was dope. So I thought he was gonna kill Butter. This that shit didn't happen to me. What I saw, nah, I I, I thought someone wanted from Philly, man. Shout out to Philly. Um, mm -hmm. so I ain't gonna front. that's dope though. That, uh, I'm like, what's his name? K I'm gonna check out his other battles. Yeah, uh, K KD is, is the is the uh dude from St. Louis, and then Butter from the Block is from Philly. Power uh Powerhouse, shout out to Powerhouse uh League and all that. So, um, oh, okay. Now let's get to the act like yeah, the, let's the get first to, like, shits. Event. So yeah. okay, all right. So first battle of the night was what again? That was uh, was uh, uh, was clean, uh gyms. Clean, clean the gyms. Yeah, okay. Clean the gyms. Ooh, Posey, set it uh, off. Set it off. Uh, I didn't see the first round. I didn't see the first round. I didn't see clean first round. I only saw Jim's first round. Uh, like right when I came back from what I was doing, I seen Jim's first round. Uh, it seemed like the crowd wasn't really. Uh, it's like that first, like that. The first battle seemed like the crowd was kind of not into that battle. I don't know if it was because it was not a lot of people in there. No, it, it was like, a lot of people. It, it, of people. it just, um, I th I just feel like I just feel like they both was real dry the first, like like they first opening bars is real dry. Yeah. So I think that your your first opening bars usually set the energy for the room. I don't, I don't know if a lot of battlers are aware of that. So like, if you structure your shit to come out, it's gonna be long and drawn out, and that all be said and that shit, is, the crowd gonna be dead. Yeah. But that that battle good. came off to me. I just rather feel about that battle. It came off real like scrimmagey. Like niggas wasn't really trying to. Yeah, like it, it, they had like little moments where it seemed kind of like some tense shit, but it kind it was like really scrimmagey. Like I don't, I don't really even have a winner for real to be honest. Like because it was like, damn, I kind of feel like Jim's winning. Then I was like, damn, I kind of feel like clean win. I don't have a, like real winner on that battle for real. Like, mm. okay. It ain't one that when you think about Jim's record or just clean record, you're like, yo, he beat Jim's. Like, to, like you know what them, you know the battles we talk about in terms of a nigga like going stock going up. Mm -hmm. It ain't one of them like yo he beat clean So he should get them battle Like for both of them niggas it ain't that Like cause it was such a scrimmage to me In my in my opinion mm -hmm. My opinion nigga <laughs> 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 Nigga Posey you get bad John how'd you see it how'd you, how'd you see this joint First of all I didn't know nothing about the battle rock community Till later on that night I, I was driving I saw the battles This is how I felt without any interference 
Uh, mm. I saw clean take the first round. I saw the fans being unfair to Jim's, but I even agree. if they were, if they were fair to Jim's, he had no, mm, he had nothing extremely powerful in the first. I think they should have gave him some more. But even if they'd have been normal to him, it, it, I think I still would have edged clean that first round. Now, the second round, the, I don't understand Jim's because. He was he was so soft and he didn't act like a dude who wanted this battle three times prior. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. like uh when disaster finally got DNA in front of him, he was wiggling his fingers like, like, oh my God, I can't believe I finally got your ass. You know, yeah. you I really want a battle. Like, I'm like, yo, Jim, you know. So to me, on rounds two and three, clean start off really strong, and as he keeps rapping, it gets weaker. Jim's start off weak. But as he keep rapping, he getting stronger. Right. That that's how I saw the battle play out. Actually, I saw it, I saw it a similar way. Um, I thought both first rounds were just them just chilling. Um, yeah. Second second yeah. and third yeah. rounds from both. I like second and third rounds from both. And I'm gonna say something yeah. too. Uh, I don't. I'm not a fan of Jim's delivery. How he does his shit. His there, there's no discernible flow to it. Sometimes like I I don't really do. It. I don't really like it. And it sounds like he reading off a cue card sometimes. But I'm gonna tell you this: yeah. that content was a one to me. Yeah, that, yeah, that was a big. I thought content. he, I thought he broke clean the fuck down. And yeah. then when he gets to the third, and he talk about how I get from a place of like I'm beefing this on site with you to having kids. I thought that shit was powerful. That was dope to me. Yeah, I liked it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right. So I um I, I I had a little different take than y'all. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna front. I really feel I was highly disappointed with both both of them. I felt like um gyms for him to be. For him, for them to have so much history about them about to fight, mm-hmm. the back and forth, he flaked on you too, didn't show up. For them to have so much history, I felt like they underperformed and they just came out dry. Mm. I, uh, mm. I, yeah, I think they was very, very dry. I think Jim's, you could definitely see the ring rush. He didn't battle in a long time, so I think you could definitely see that. Mm-hmm. And Clean just, I, I don't never take Clean serious. Like, he just, he, he's not, I don't, like, he just seemed like he just wrote that maybe two days ago. Right. Clean, clean, never gonna have the most lyrical stuff, and I yeah, I just, like a lot. A I lot learned of that. Seemed like he just wrote it like a day ago or something. Like his, he had that. I just wrote it, Bob. I, I get a different take. I, it's just my expectations. I don't expect him to come the deepest, but as far as performance, I thought that he he did his thing. He looked to me like he was trying, but I just don't understand how much Jim's wanted to battle clean for him to be so down in the first beginning of, of rounds. I just don't understand that. Just just his whole, I don't know, persona. You know what I'm saying? Like, it seemed to me that when he said one hot bar in the middle of his round, the crowd went crazy. Once he felt the crowd go crazy, then he woke up. Mm-hmm. Right. That's, right. That's how it came across to me. It, it, he, he, let, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't be in a master ceremony. He would let the crowd run him. If the crowd don't like what I'm saying, I'm going to be dull. If they like what I say, then I'm going to go crazy. There was yeah. there, there was a lot of joking, a lot of smiling during the battle. Um, now to Polo's point, which I think was important. Um, do you think it's the same battle if it's uh, a month ago, two months ago? You know what I'm saying? Like, like is this the same type of outcome? Like, if they didn't have a chance to like talk it out and get yeah. people involved, then yeah. it'll probably be different. But like, you can't stay mad at a nigga for too long that you keep seeing at events. That's what I had to realize a long time ago. Like, yo, y'all niggas see each other every other month. Like, I'm going to keep staying mad at a nigga. And then, like, eventually yeah. it's going to get squashed. So it's like, I can't be, it's like, I can't, I can't give the, I can't stay WWE mode for too long. Like, these niggas was, like, they, they was, I seen one of they reek, like, one of they post things, they, they friends. Like, these niggas friends now. Yeah, they, they talking about doing two on two, two on two. Yeah, two on twos together and shit, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a great point. I, um, I didn't, cause I, I was confused cause they was FaceTiming before the battle the day before. They was like smiling on FaceTime and shit. Whatever I see niggas smiling with each other on FaceTime. It's so only so much disrespect they can say to each other. Bro, Jim so. said in the in the in the face off, <laughs> no, or, or whatever the pre uh thing. He said, "Yo, man, why can't we just be friends?" I was like, "What?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in battle rap, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah so I, I just I already knew that battle was I already. And then when I got to the venue, I seen these niggas pounding it up. Talking like having normal conversation before yeah, they battle. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I, yeah. I'm gonna just order some wings, man. I'm good. I, I ain't gonna. I ain't 
Yeah. I'm not going in the middle of that crowd. When I seen these niggas pound up and, and, and laugh and hug each other. I'm like, oh yeah, it's over for this. These niggas just became friends out of nowhere. Yeah, and, I, yeah, and, so you know, and that's just, just and that's just the thing I was saying about the WWE uh, tweet that I left before. Everybody gets on this WWE shit. We gotta just be honest with ourselves. We want, we like shit like that. We, yo, lie to me. But be you know mad what I thought this about, nigga, son? Y'all about, so to, like, y'all about to lie to each other anyway. Talk about how y'all gonna shoot each other, nigga. Be mad at you, see a nigga, nigga. <laughs> t- say something to him in the line, nigga. While we in, while we waiting for the video, the shit to start. Are you? Nah, I might. Be, I gotta. Well, that's I, I, I want to ask the crowd too, cause I may, I might be forgetting some, but it's probably it is some that w- that go through. But like the battles with like them physical tension backgrounds, like yo, this shit could go left if we battle. Yeah. And battles, do they ever like? Is it any classics from? Nah, that? they. But they always but, become a scuffle or something, right? It ain't no mm, classics. Nah, that's a, either that's a, a classic or a whole bunch of niggas like cutting each other off. Or, yo, don't say that. No. I, I mean, but, it might be it might be a classic or two from them type of situations, but them mm. rapping, mm-hmm. them battles don't be going through for real. Like them battles don't the battles don't get done. I guess yeah, because they be, they Ill be. Will was, Calico and Ill Will was able to, uh, you know, what I'm saying, come to mutual like, yo, we gonna get through this battle, but then we're done with it, like, like it was just real shit. Wait, wait, it's not- wait. So, 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 not to jump all over the place. I'm mm-hmm. Calico and Ill Will. They, they, they had um, they had they had beef or something. Yeah, I well, uh, see, that's the thing. I don't really. Like Calico's like yo, outside of battle rap, we don't have any actual anything. You don't have no real beef, yeah. yeah. I think Ill Will got beef. <laughs> yeah, I think Ill Will feel away. I think he does. Yeah, I think what, he. What, I, what, did, what happened between them that started that? Because even in the battle, it seemed like he felt the way about something. So he got a video I, I, where he riding in the car explaining it, but I, I didn't watch it all. Mm-hmm. But he do got a video of what he explained. I feel like I feel uh, this is my take on it, and this could very much not be true because I'm not in these brothers' heads. To me. It seems that Ill Will is the natural successor to Calico. And Ill Will's not getting that love. You know what I'm saying? To, to be like, yeah. okay, I'm that I'm that dude, you know, on some Michigan shit. And yeah. you know what I'm saying? But Calico's not really that type of under the wing type of nigga. Like he's not really gonna give you that. You know what I'm saying? So um I think Will wants that. And that to me is projected in every time he speaks about Calico, is like, yeah. yo. Like why niggas not respecting me as that nigga out of Detroit, out of, out of uh, Michigan? But, yo, but yo, you know bro. what? Oh my fuck! Go ahead. Real no, much. I just go say ahead. before we go deep into that pause because that was the last battle. Like who do who, <laughs> y'all want to officially? Who y'all yeah. want to officially put? Who y'all had winning for Shuni versus uh, QB? Because oh uh, yeah, 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 girl went yeah, down. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm a, um, mm-hmm. wait, 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 wait. Before before you do that, uh, did y'all get, do you have a winner for uh, cleaning and gyms? Did, uh, oh yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I had I had clean winning, but overall, I feel like they both lost being at the history of the battle. So I don't. I had clean. I guess it wasn't really a crazy battle. I strongly got clean round one. Uh, gems round two, and it just depends on on your preference for round three. Because again, clean started strong, but by the end of his third, it was completely quiet. Jim started off soft. I don't know why, but yeah. by the end of his third, it was going crazy. So I think if, if who would I have rather have been? I want to leave you with a good impression. So if Jim's left him with a, a better impression in the third, so you can say Jim's two one rounds two and three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just keep it real, like. Mm-hmm. I feel like I feel like Jim's might have won this battle, but I don't like Jim's low key. So I got clean two. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like, I, I, not, not I don't we like got, him because I don't I don't yo, know him. Like I'm like that. But yo, I don't Posey, like we style. Posey, we got to balance it out because we got two I'm of the political more. dudes on the show, so we got to balance it out, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like more. I like more clean. I like more clean style more. So I'm a. That's more of my preference. But it was feeling like. Uh, Jim's was kind of like he was more put together than uh, clean a little bit. Like his grounds was cleaner. Like he practiced more. Clean started like freestyling a little bit at the end, or about to get into some freestyling shit in the third. Like, yeah, yeah. And then when and the worst part is when you can sense a nigga freestyling, and like you could you could like yeah. almost hear them thinking, "You're like nigga, <laughs> stop." Like, you know what I mean? Like what is what's going on? Um, I'm saying clean two one right now. Good case yeah. of gems on two and three, but I'm giving clean the third round. Um, all right, cool. Now, next battle, most disrespectful battle I've ever witnessed in my <clears throat> life, in my entire <clears throat> fucking life. At this point, I'm gonna be honest, yeah. I nigga, I don't know, no. Some of this shit that was said in this battle, wow, what the fuck, Shuni? 
and QB. QB is my favorite battle, uh, lady battle, battle, battle rapper, woman battle rapper all time. Now, yeah, this shit right here was crazy. Now, how did y'all call this? Yeah, because yeah, I said, I, I said it, it off. Uh, Set it off. I feel like the first round, Shuni was cooking, tried to punch back to back. Mm -hmm. she, she made, she said that in the um the face off, like I'm gonna punch it back to back, like I'm bullshit. So she tried to do some new. She tried to because you know Shuni known for the. Oh. Trying to violate, but she was like, "Yo, let me let me try some." Mm -hmm. You have to put that brother on mute. The brother in his bins. I don't know what the brother. The brother in his bins. I'm here. I'm here. Chill, chill. Well, yeah, <laughs> but yeah, Shuni first. Shuni tried to do some new. I don't really want to say it's new, but she was trying to like. Mm -hmm. Respect too, right? Like that's her main attribute. Disrespect, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, now it is. It wasn't always, but now, now it definitely. Oh, is. it wasn't always. She tried to do some like I'm gonna punch back to back in the first. Mm -hmm. QB comes with just being QB. I'm a first, mm -hmm. so I edged the first to Q. I just like what QB was doing more in the first. Okay. Uh, the second, Shuni got into her bag with the disrespect, but not too much. I'm punching with the disrespect. Like I'm not trying to. I'm trying to punch you back. The name flips and I'm disrespecting. Mm -hmm. QB, I'm just gonna disrespect you. Like the whole second round too. We're gonna do that. I like that more. QB won in the second round, so mm -hmm. I got QB up two, two one or two. It's two zero. My fault. Two zero. You had it two zero oh, going into the third. Two zero. Yeah. Mm, okay. And Shuni got in this in my regular Shuni bag. Like we just in that bag. We just exposing how how you fucked him. You might have fucked him. Your grand. That's the. Uh. QB had the same QB disrespectful round, but it kind of tailed off at the end. Mm -hmm. So I got Shuni one in it, but it's it's, a, it's the two one. You can edge it to QB though, but mm -hmm. I got Shuni two. Um, I got QB two one, two one. Shuni got the third, in my opinion. Okay, all right, all right. So so Shuni got the third. Uh, John John, what's up? John, talk to me. This shit was yeah, disrespectful. They, they, they gonna, you got kids, my nigga. Me, this man. shit different. Like, <laughs> they ain't gonna like me on this one because I know how the battle rap community is. But so before I yeah. say it, I just want to say I text ARP right after the battle. Told him you definitely need to keep Shuni. You know what I'm saying? Where with her again? Shuni did her thing. But uh, battle rap community don't like when you give somebody when you edge somebody every round. If you say somebody won three o and it's not a blowout, they finna cuss and call you crazy. But I don't think it's a three o. I just think that QB edged every round and she did it strategically. Mm -hmm. QB tried to hang with Shuni with bars. She didn't have to beat her in bars. She just had to be even with her, lose a little bit uh, or have a bar a little bit better, like a neutral bar in the second round. But she pulled the Sugar Ray Leonard. During the last 30 seconds or so of all her stuff, she used her strongest attribute, which was being extremely disrespectful, Bruh. gaining the crowd, her uh, owning the stage. If you use your strongest attribute and both of y'all are close and you do it at the end, you have taken over the show. You won the, you won the round, and I feel like she did it every round. Uh, I love Shuni when she came disrespectful about the grandma and all that stuff mm -hmm. in the third round. Mm -hmm. But as much as I loved it for QB to go after that and then just come with some more, I mean, it was crazy, man. I got I got QB all three rounds close battle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. I I I had I had QB also. I felt um Shuni was cool, but I just felt like QB just showed why she a legend. Like it just was just different. Like she just outclassed her in like every attribute. Yeah. It's so like, close. It's so everything matters. Like I, I wonder what my brain would be like if Shuni would have went second, like her third round. Mm. Like her third round was very strong. It just QB was just right after that. With you know, it just I don't know, man. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. I'm in the, I'm in the same I, I'm in the same camp of QB winning the battle. But I do like what Shuni was doing. You could tell that she's worked on uh, yeah. like lyrics. Like she she came with some shit now. You did. She had better bars. She had a dialysis bar. Uh, we're not doing that in 2018. Uh, no not, dialysis bar. No dialysis. No dialysis. No. 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 Dialysis. Yeah. Nah. Nah. We not. We not doing that. But um, I, I thought she was good. I thought she was effective. But um, QB to me, she could have yeah. won this battle lyrically. She could have. She could. Yeah, they were neck and neck, but it says some second round. QB had a little bit of dry spot. 
as according to Sabar wise. But yeah, right. she was she was riding with her for her to have for her perception to be the lesser bar. She was riding with uh Yeah, her. she she was. was. It, she I, was. I, th- I think it, I think it came down to that third and when QB just took it to another level of disrespect where she was just like I wipe my nut on your, your child's oh, sippy cup, all this shit. Fucking di- God, she, 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 she took that third round. was what It was close all the way up until the third round. I feel like QB just just, just put the, 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 extra, the extra gas on. Mm-hmm. So check this out. Check this out as far as the meaner. Everything matters in the battle. So if you looking serious and sad after you go and you complaining about the time mm-hmm. because QB went over the time, right. shouldn't he look sad? Okay, look at the end of the battle. When Shuni went over the time, what did QB do? Nah, let her rock. Let her rock. Mm-hmm. She didn't care. Like she that confidence matters. Everything matters. Your outfit matters. If you're the most disrespectful female artist, yeah, come on stage with black pants, leather jacket, black shades. All of that stuff matters. You know, mm-hmm. you gotta take a like I, I felt like she was more comfortable on that stage, man. But I felt that Shuni did a great job. Like Shuni impressed me. Yeah, yeah, I was impressed. I thought she was gonna get her ass whooped. I'm gonna be honest. Uh now. Yeah. What is the take on the disrespect as men with kids and so on and so forth? Uh, wow. This shit was different level. This is the most disrespectful battle I've seen all year. So what did y'all think about that? Is that acceptable? Are we, what, 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 what are we doing? What are we I doing? I mean, y'all see how I get down with somebody coming me, even in blog, and I, and I don't care about no debate. I'm sitting there entertained. I, I liked it. Mm. Uh, <laughs> it didn't block me at all. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Some some little like the like Fetty raping the, her kids was kind of crazy. Yeah, they got oh, QB had that bar like uh, you, it's ironic you sleep with a man yeah, uh, when your daughter got one eye open. Yeah, the Fetty flip. Yeah, that that, that shit was kind of like I was like, yeah, that hurt my soul. Like damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then and then the fact that Farah and Fetty are sitting right there while QB is doing it. bad, just bad optics. Like Fetty, I, got I hate to call Farah out on this man, but. Man, Farrah, you can't be on the biggest yeah. stage. Laugh, smile, laughing when she coming at your girl. I'm like, Farrah, you got to have a poker face, man. Mm-hmm. Farrah was laughing at some of the stuff that QB was saying. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then it's just like, God damn, son. Like, the, the, just the optics of it, right? She, she's yeah. talking about how Fetty, you know, smashed both of y'all. And y'all both right. I uh, just, ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Superstitious. Like, yeah, that shit was hard. That, that- bar was hard, though. That shit, shit. Yeah, that shit oh, looks bad. Yeah. Let's go back to the face off with that Fetty Wap disrespect. Remember the face off? Mm-hmm. Shuni said that when QB gets disrespectful, it's just disrespectful for no reason. Like there's no bars, there's no talent. She just being grossly di- that was talent. That was a bar. I was she she did a bar flip disrespectful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not name flip with the bar. Yeah. Yeah. Bar. Like, so it wasn't just plain. Some of the stuff was just plain disrespectful now, but some of it wasn't. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so, that's a fact. And there were shouts of Fetty being the GOAT, uh, too. And, and shout out to Fetty. Uh, yeah, like, I heard Fetty, like, <laughs> had intercourse with a lot of these, these ladies. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing he heard of, it's about six women that he, he knocked off. I hate like, yo, intercourse. Shut up, Posey. Do y'all think, like, this is the <laughs> Super Bowl of female battle rap until Queen Ring get her stuff together? Like, this is the highest platform you could be on to get the most attention. Do you think the RBE owns that now? Like the, the, I agree. the, the Super Bowl? I agree. Yeah. Currently, yeah. You know, they, they, they got the like they got the champ. Like to me, QB is the one you gotta go beat. And she basically a RBE like battler. Like mm-hmm. so who who would y'all like to see QB against? Coffee. Coffee mm. Brown. I, yeah, I, you would say coffee. You would yeah, say well, coffee. Well, I know, I know. Coffee. Shout out to coffee. <laughs> but shout out to Logahana. She ain't ready though. She got some she uh, got my some people chicken. already know I'm about to plug. I'm just she trying probably, to see yeah, she probably ain't ready for that uh, just yet. Um, I don't think QB is battle Beretta Blaze out of uh, Houston. I think that'd be a dope matchup for her. Uh, Reese or RX, I think that'd be dope too. Uh, and then the last one that I would probably say is Cheddar from Cleveland. Like she's dope too. So you think any of those girls are ready for the Super Bowl? This is the highest the they Super can get Bowl? right now. In- Super Bowl uh, ready right now would be uh, Blaze. If I could choose anybody, Beretta Blaze is is ready for sure. I think her and C3 well, had the best ladies battle this year. No bias aside, I'm, I'm riding with 40 bars because they got personal history. They don't like each other. They got into a fight at an event. And I feel that if this girl's superpowers is disrespect, it's going to take another female who has her own superpower. Mm-hmm. And 40 bars, bars is, is, is superpower. You're going to need somebody that can go against that. Right. That's what I say. But I'm biased. I agree. First off, 
Y'all just be disrespecting Jazz like she ain't want to. Matter of fact, Tony, bro, first off, man, you brother. Wasn't this brother just this <laughs> yeah. Jazz like two shows, brother? Hold on, man. You brothers. I don't man. think Jazz going to battle on RBE. You brothers starting shows at 7 a.m.? What's going on? Yo. Sleep on my <laughs> 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 this brother. Yo, Yo this brother what's just going? came from the club, brother. Yeah, yeah like, you, we, yeah. Not, we don't feel bad for you. You still, you ain't yeah. even washed the stamp <laughs> off your hand. First, <laughs> when you entered the club, my nigga, you ain't even do First none of that. Off, brother off. was at Complex Con. I know you brothers I, today, I was man. at Complex Con yesterday, but I ended up at Crazy Girls. That's why my phone is off. <laughs> I'm talking on my laptop. <laughs> I know what's going on out here. Just trust me. They got a whole different show set up. Like, come on, my nigga. Like, why y'all be disrespecting Jazz like she just not one of them girls, though? She not. I just don't think Jazz would battle on RBE. Like, if this would have been URL, I would have added Jazz, especially with RBE being their biggest competitor. So she would never battle QB. And then she already battled QB. That's true. She did battle QB. And that battle was fucking weird. Like, a lot of early Jazz battles. Like, a QB don't even look the same. If you watch that yeah. battle, that don't even look like QB. I don't know what the fuck was going on. There was no shade. Nah, she had jazz, a beanie. Jazz beat the dog shit out of her. She did not beat the dog shit out of her. QB choked inexplicably. She never fucking chokes. It was back when uh, Jazz would battle. Uh, women and they would just choke every time and kind of oh say, yeah like bail her out the shits you feel me I um, thought QB was wild you talking about what was that card called the one that I think was, was B that? Magic and Chilla was on that card yeah 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 well somebody <laughs> dig that card up and shit that um, card was fire actually that was a good card <laughs> nigga have one nigga have one close one known five and y'all just disrespect the girl that was, that was nah crazy. man listen man I listen to Jazz <laughs> versus uh uh Shuffle T no <laughs> No, <laughs> no, I'm not right. I had her losing the heart. I had her losing the heart too. Leave an imprint on like I'm Miles Davis. Like it got bad. For yeah, it did get bad for Jazz in that fucking room. Like what? E Heart was talking niggas, to her. Niggas had Jazz winning though. Them days that was back when the Queen Queen's flip was fucking battles up days. Remember the days <laughs> when, like, when he just kept reacting like he didn't even know what the bars meant. That was them days. But yeah, I thought E Heart beat Jazz, but I don't think that's a consensus though. I had your heart beating Jazz too. Yeah. Yeah, I had Jazz winning two one the first time. Then I went back and watched it. And I saw like really pay attention. That second round was a lot of gas and for Jazz round two. Mm hmm But see, this is the thing though. Some people gonna have that home court advantage because the fans was loving Jazz. Just like uh Phil, I feel that Clean had home court advantage. Like Clean could say some of the most basic shit and they was going crazy against Jim. That nigga yeah, accent is accent. You gotta understand. Nigga. His but accent nah. is a street code, uh, a cheat accent, code, my nigga. Yeah. Like, the nigga, shut up, bitch. Like, the way the nigga yeah. say certain shit. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, son. Yeah. This nigga, nigga just said cute, uh, uh, clean, got the home court advantage, and Jim's is, that's Jim's home, too. No, that's I'm not crazy. talking about, I'm not talking about physical home. I'm just saying who not the crowd rock and re is a person. I know, I know. Like, what he, I, know what I know what you mean. It's just clean got that voice, that voice that's, um, yeah. uh, his voice is like he got like a real good delivery, like, like it's like Kendrick Lamar. Like Ken, I'm not comparing them, but I'm just saying like Kendrick mm -hmm. Lamar rap voice is is fire. Like he got one of them unique rap voices. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, it's just like you but, believe um, everything the nigga about to like. Yeah. like Cause his, even when he talked, like he was talking to the bartender. This shit was mad funny. Like he just, <laughs> he just a, yo, he a comedian, like for real. Yeah. But I definitely think coffee would be a nice bet. I'm not trying to be on my tone, bro. And shit. <laughs> I I, I, I definitely think Coffee Locahannis would be a nice opponent, a nice flexible opponent for uh for uh, uh QB. I, I want to see it eventually, but like I don't, I don't she think she's ready be, though. She might be yeah. She's um, not ready, my nigga. But 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 okay, so so all right, so that that's cool. Um, yeah. that battle that battle is crazy. Uh, let's get to the meat meat and potatoes. Start all right, man. This is what, this what I'm yeah. ready for. Hold on, man. Yeah, let me stretch like, for this one. Uh, <laughs> he said, yeah. let me stretch. Yeah. yeah. Let's do this one. And, and, by, and by the way, the people that's dropping Super Chats, I will get to those very yeah, We're going to get to y'all. We're going to get to you, brothers. All right. Um, J Mills versus K Shine, man. Let's get to that battle. Um, K Shine, was it cold at, at, at the event? Was it cold? Hell like, yeah. Was, hell yeah. Oh, it was cold outside. Yeah. Nigga, it wasn't cold yeah, in there. Yeah. At you one point, it was hot it. as fuck in there. I don't know. You what can tell by sad bro pictures. It was cold outside. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I, I had on layers, nigga. My nose was running in that picture. Y'all need to see it. <laughs> yo, this sad bro shit is hilarious. <laughs> but, let me say why I'm asking. Like why I'm asking, was it cold? Because I knew what Jay Mills wanted. Because he had on that big black jacket. I yeah. knew what he was trying to do. He was trying to do the reaction where you take the jacket off and mm. oh, he wanted to do one of them. 
Hey, I, got, I want to say something before we start, man. Yeah, I just think that you, Tony is wrong for you to have me on this show. And you... What? It wrong for me? I, 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 I literally started sad, bro. I mean, as soon as you put that picture up, I, I put a picture up of Keanu Reeves on a bench. I said, this reminds me of Keanu Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> I started putting up how they did him. And then I did the first three and threw them in there, and everybody started going, on, man. So, my bad, bro. You are the creator. You, you, you've you done this. But, but... <laughs> yo, yo. Got a question before we get back on Jamil. Who took that picture of you and why did they post it? Oh no, I King took shout out to King. King came through and shout out to Drew too from the society. It both came through. Drew supplied some of that great gas. I don't know what the I I don't know where you got that shit, but that's why yeah, I think it, it was looking it looked like, like that. it was great. Yeah, okay. But why, but... Look, hold on, yeah. yo, pose it. They, they all took a smoke break. His eyes were super normal. Yo, he came back in But niggas so but Yo, all like, of them look like all of them look like they just finished smoking with Snoop Dogg. Like they all just walked back. <laughs> Yo, that shit was. Cra- I'm telling like, these brothers. But I'm, why, I'm, like, I'm like brother. I'm like brothers. Y'all, I gotta invest in a vape, man. Y'all looking crazy right now. Like just, just get a vape. <laughs> <laughs> but why niggas want nigga? Talk- when, my, when somebody take a picture of me, yo, check with me, my nigga. Let me see it. <laughs> oh no, no, no. He got my. <laughs> nah, he got my permission. Like, hey, like, yeah, no. Nah, he but got my permission like, for that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like, like, let a nigga see for it. Like, yo, let, yo <laughs> Tony wanted people to clown. No, no. I'm gonna tell you why Tony did it. The real Tony did it. There's a picture of Tony with that big ass book bag, and he knew this bag was smaller. And yeah, yeah, he yeah. I was like, small like, bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that nigga Tony bro had Cap's garage in that back. <laughs> 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 I got niggas yeah. deposits yeah. in that bag, yeah. yo. Fuck y'all talking about that. Yo, yo, they hit yo them yo yo Drizzy. You seen the memes they had this nigga? <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, some nigga, some nigga at me on some nigga at me on the page called Tony Bros Backpack. Follow that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, follow Tony Bros Black Backpack, man. Yeah. Yo, yo, yeah. did you see the one that said, "Man, I really can't stay tonight." <laughs> 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 oh yeah! Oh, that shout out to my girl uh, Coco. Did that lady root? Yeah, you know they had, they had Tone Bro on the on the um, you know Lion King where they threw Simba off. <laughs> yo, yeah. yeah, they had him there yo, too. Mar did that. Oh shit! They violated my nigga man. Nah, sad, sad bro is the- is the is the battle rap fan standing in line waiting for the shit to open up. You get there on time, you gotta fucking wait an hour to get in. Yeah, sad, that's, bro. that's what that is. Tone um, is a good sport, man. He's a good hey, sport. It comes with oh, it, man. But but yo, all right, so. Let's yeah. do. Let's get back to it now, Posey. We do, we're discussing J Mills rollout with the coat, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Mills has on the coat because he wants to do the like when you start rapping and he take the coat off for the crowd reaction. He didn't even do it right. I do. Nah, I, thought, nah, nah. I, I think he was gonna do that, but it was nah, like nah. fucking take this shit off like before he even start rapping. But I think he was saving that reaction to take the jacket off shit so they could see the Celtics warm up. Like I think that's what he was going for, right? Right, yeah, I think he was trying to get one of those like take off my coat, yeah, that type of reaction. Yeah, yeah. And then we see Celtics warm the the Castro battle. You're like, oh, okay, he got the Castro warm up on. He wanted that reaction. Yeah, like, that's what I was thinking. So uh, he starts off that first like forty five seconds. He was kind of cooking. Look, I'm like, okay, cooking, bro. He was. Yeah, cooking. Like, okay. I like that. I'm like, okay, like, it's like, because you give niggas that come back a curve in your head. Like, niggas don't say it out loud, but we giving these niggas a little curve when they come back. Like, oh, you got to get that's them a- the ring where rust off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a fact. The first, like, minute, he was kind of, I was like, all right, this shit cool. Like, I could see him getting through the, even if he get 30, if he stay like this, I'm cool with this. Mm-hmm. But it just start getting worse and worse and worse, like, throughout that, that first round, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Uh, what, what was it? See, okay, so in the building, his first round, everybody just waiting. Yeah. Mad respectful. Yeah. Let's just wait. Let's give him a chance yeah. to get this shit together. You know what I'm saying? He gets yeah. to he gets to a couple bars. Look, listen, I wasn't mad at Mills. The bars wasn't crazy. Bars. It was like, I wasn't mad I at him. The, 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 the bars was terrible. Wasn't crazy. Them shit was terrible. Yo, all right, all right, what we doing right now? Yeah, like he was just saying like he was just saying like little slick shit. I, I retired this what some J and came back as 
Money Mills or whatever the fuck he said. Like, Millie yeah, Mills or something like that. My, like, hey, my, my nigga shit. J. My nigga J. Mills said silencer in his mouth. It sound like he's so we gonna get, we gonna get, Oh, yeah, oh, we're gonna get to the pauses. God. Yeah. God. I'm like, God, let me get to that. Because there were oh some there God. were some problems here. Some glaring issues that let me know that all this shit you was talking about about keeping up with everything and sparring with niggas and by the way, whoever yeah. you spar with, y'all look bad. Shout out to Mook. Mook said he must for this bullshit. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Jay, hold on, Jay Mills. Yo, shout out to Jay Mills not knowing that Takeoff was his amigo's name, not Liftoff. What was he talking about? Wow. I, no, no, he said, no, he said, I, my gun, my trigger finger is the fourth member of the Migos. It's Liftoff. liftoff. Yeah, Who he was is saying, Liftoff? He said nice his finger it's a fourth is. member. Yeah, it's a fourth member. That makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, nah, that's terrible. terrible. So he, he just made a fourth that's member. Ass, but, but. But but this is how it's asked because it's only one person in Migos with it with an off as in, like take off offset like I don't get it lift off I don't get that I, I, I know I see I know what he was trying. bad it was really bad so, I knew where he was going with it though but it just didn't hit when yeah. when you when you are what? when you're a mainstream rapper you the advantages you're gonna have over battle rapper is uh but not all you're not promised an advantage but you you're gonna be more comfortable on stage you're traveling around the whole world for years and years and years. Performing, performing. So his performance in the first round that didn't shock me. Uh, another thing that can make you appear like you good is that your words you're saying are gonna be good, but you're gonna fall off when it gets to the, the punch at the end. Right. That's where it's gonna be the difference between a modern day battle rapper and somebody trying to come back and battle rap. When he got to the end of all his stuff, it was whack because he has not done it in a while, and I don't know why they're yeah. shocking people. Yo, listen, man, we did, yeah. we did. Uh, yeah, but with all that saying, Mills. For you to go on a press run saying that you may smack all these battle rappers and be sucking up to you because without you, it would be no dumb saying all this stuff in your press run just to come back and have that kind of performance. You got some nerve. Like, come on. That's crazy. And I thought about that, too. I know why these people have so much confidence when they, they think they can come back and battle rap. You got to look at it, too. To these battle rappers, we hear their skills every day. We know how great they are. Mm -hmm. To these industry dudes coming in, they are just little battle rappers. They just little nobodies to them. They don't even they don't even look at all their battles to know how good they are like we do. We I don't, I'm a big guy and you just a nobody. That's I don't, what I don't think that's true though. I I, don't, I really don't, I don't either. What, what what I think it is, I think these dudes are just not studying the game tape. I think Jay Mills does not exactly. Not, he did not but, watch but, no battles. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I feel he didn't watch no battles. He didn't do nothing. He just yeah, came we, back like, all right, I'm Jay Mills. Yeah, we saying I, the same I, thing. I, that I think, that's why he got that confidence because he ain't he ain't watched nothing. But, but I think even if he did. Even if he he could have watched every K Sean battle thirty up. times, he has never sat down and wrote for an opponent. All his battles was I'm walking out my I'm walking out the crib with fifteen rounds and whoever say something getting these rounds. It, like yeah, he didn't. Right. He's never directly wrote for somebody. And, and I don't even. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think that uh, it's very clear to me. I don't know if it's clear to you niggas that performing a soundtrack where when the when the beat drop the crowd is already rocking with you. That has nothing to do with this building being in complete silence nothing. and your words having to force them to move. Nothing. Yeah, yeah that's a fact. <clears throat> and, and, and these are like this shit niggas never heard. Like, Bad rock. That's why we performing it with you. Like we never heard this new shit you had. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like making a new hit every time you on stage. Like that's what these battlers is doing. Like these niggas is coming up with new shit every time. Yeah. More but, complex. Uh, can we get into K Shine first round? Yeah, let's do it. You know, Go we, ahead, did, Pose. We, we did the Mills first round. K Shine first round was just, it was Shine. Like, it a stick in the middle, like Tether Ball. And the, you know what Shine do. Like, he stayed like a whole bunch of times. He do the flow shit. Yeah. I got a stick over my shoulder. He got a lot of sticks. And you know how he hey, did. Hey, that shit so was he just, fire. He just, yeah, he just, he just ran through the through the round. He had the uh, Big in My Trouble or what flip was dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Who said the, uh, who was playing Biggie in the shit? I have no idea if they set that up beforehand on some luck shit, and that was what I was uh, actually kind of concerned about, to be honest. Because is that? Because I thought we, I thought the culture said that that was a uh, bias. If um, if the league is helping out something like that, um, okay. Now on camera, mm. I don't know, like like John. I know John. You you were, you was watching on Cozy. I was watching on Cam on the live shit, but. I didn't hear the the other dude. Like I don't know if y'all heard. I didn't really hear the other dude. Like that said the that helped out with the line. Oh no, nah, you hear it very clearly. Yeah, I heard it. 
Yeah. I don't know. I didn't hear it for some. It, it didn't sound like a dude to me. It sounded like a recording. Yeah. It yeah. It sounded like a recording. Like a recording. Like... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was a recording. So I got a wild theory, man. Just I have no facts about this stuff, and I said it in my review. Mm -hmm. Sean, Sean said in the in the face of that, uh, they gonna love you the first round because you knew, and that's how we are. We we give everybody a chance, you know, when they come back or whatever, we give them a chance. Mm -hmm. So he was right. They love him in the first. So I'm thinking since Sean knew that he spit his third round first. He had he rapped like eight different styles, different ways in the first round, going crazy with it. Then who does a prop in the first round? You do that in the third round. I think he came with it to make sure I'm going to take this first round away from you. Your yeah, best he round. knew, but he knew he knew after that first round, after the round one, he know these guys can't keep up for three straight rounds. He know that. These dudes got yeah. Be, if these dudes coming in don't win the first round, they have no shot, bro. They have yeah. no shot. Except for King Lowe's. <laughs> Except yeah. for King Lowe's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and and so, all right. So I think the pro the issue was, and and that was a very um <clears throat> dare I say regular round from K Shine, but the level of performance, I think that's the part yeah. that 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 is just when you sitting there and you at the venue. What you're doing, you're doing this compare and contrast. And the levels could not be more obvious between those first rounds. In terms of performance, not even just bars. In terms yeah. of performance. So now we have something to compare you to after the first round. And that's why it starts to go downhill for Mills. And he's like, damn, this how was this shit I was doing in the first working as opposed to now? And it's like, yo, bro, we seen old boy go and he's giving us a show, bro. It don't check matter. out the check out the mental aspect, bro. He sucked the life out of uh, Mills. Paul, think about it. Oh Mills, my gosh! Said Paul. <laughs> Mills, Mills, Mills came, and his 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 thing was, "I'm going to outperform you." When he saw K. Shine outperform his best thing, the mm -hmm. first thing he said at the beginning of round two was, "I ain't gonna even do all the performance because it's all about the word." Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> K. Yeah, yeah, Shine yeah. did that to him, man. Mills Mills did Mills did a lot of shit that shot him in the foot and uh, those little faces we pay attention those faces a little side chat that was hot and oh how dare you yeah oh battle rap one hundred one that after the round unless you know you won the fucking first round don't be like one oh me and him one oh me and him or or like what like we're like no him nigga like he don't got. Say, don't, don't. Don't like, don't ask us. To, like, we know the score, my nigga. You know we know the score. We telling you. Yeah, like, it was one zero. Uh, it was one zero after Sean's first four bars. It was one zero. Like, yeah, yeah like, that shit. And then the that Uber second eats, round, the Uber oh. eats shit it was like that was better than every like everything they said. Like the yeah, yeah, that that I, yeah, that was bad. And Jay Mills just. That smirk on stage, like, yo, like, I know I'm getting my ass whipped face. Yeah, like the ass face, right, Polo? That shit in, in, in the building, that the I eat ass face these niggas be making when they lose it. Oh, oh, it's priceless. Oh, I love it. I, 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 I kind of disagree, man. I think, uh, I don't know the word I'm looking for, but he oblivious to how bad Kayshawn beat him because he's so stuck in his ways. I think he really th thought he nah, was he that's that's that. No, no, nah, no, yeah, no. That's you know I, the same no I, I agree it's a point that he knew he was losing, but I don't think Smirk was. When he knew he was losing, when he started selling the crowd, y'all sleep. Yeah. Because now you're making excuses. You Man, know, listen, that was as, if we, as, yeah, if that we was paid a, as if we paid a hundred dollars to come in here and be sleep. It's only four back. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Yeah. Yo, listen to me. That, that was the fastest I've ever seen somebody get out of a venue and exit with 30 people. Bruh. Like I, yo, he, yo, he did like secret entrance for him, like a secret exit. He disappeared. Like, that was crazy. Yeah, I have like, no I'm idea fucking... where Mills went. Like, he literally he hit a smoke bomb and dipped. I have no idea <laughs> what happened. I think that. this is the most, he's the most, I'm thinking back to SM2 and everybody came. Mook was bad, but at least he won. Like, yeah. This, like, he was, this is some of the most dated rap I've heard. This is like, the worst thing. <laughs> and this, this why I think worst. he wrote the shit, like, a lot of it, like, I, I saw John Real blog when he mentioned this shit that he wrote this shit like it was too. The nigga had a mad TV. I'm Saturday Night Live. Yeah, you, you can't TV. do that. You, you cannot mad, do that to mad? these young dudes. What? What are you doing? Like, and then, these niggas is in their early 20s in this crowd. They, what the, they don't know about no They don't know what mad TV but, is. Oh, hold on, hold on. Because, uh, see, and I said this during this shit. I live tweeted. I was like, listen, 
Mills just got mad at all of us uh, as a collective in the crowd for his Clockers reference, yeah. right? He made a he made a reference to the movie Clockers. Love that movie. Mm-hmm. I got I understood what you're saying, but the crowd is twenty like, like average battle rap age probably somewhere around mid twenties, maybe. Yeah. So so like you can't expect people to get that, or you have to make that shit hit. But then K Shine has a reference to a '90s movie, and it hit. It hit. But, it, but it's certain. There's only yeah, certain yeah, things. But, like, but, like but no, it was no. because it, it was because of K Shine flow though. Like this, like K Shine got flow and delivery. But you got to choose the right things. Like, look, none of us was was old enough to to remember the seventies in here, right? But we know the Godfather. We know the Exorcist. You can use that. Mad TV, bro. The Phil, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, it's Mad TV. These people talk, don't know John. what I'm talking about right now. Talk, John. <laughs> I'm like, you can't do that, man. Yeah, I, I, I got what he was saying. I'm I'm bigger than you, basically. Like Mad TV yeah. was like a slower tier sketch comedy. Like but he didn't even say Mad TV. He said you so, mad mad. People not gonna get that. He niggas about- still not gonna get it. Even yeah, like so. It's like, right, that's because that show's been on for 15 years. Why would he say that? Yeah, and I don't, then I no idea. And, and then the, the I hit him up no vas. He did the, the scheme about the diss track. I hit him up no Vaseline. Uh, the kill shot and Eminem uh, put this in ether takeover. That scheme was terrible. Like the the the, the diss track scheme. Yeah, was terrible. yeah but you, then but you, you say fake, hit him up with no bars. Vaseline. Yeah, I, uh, uh, well, sir. Like, Wait, hold on, you, Tony. Hold on. Now. Would what? you take that? That scheme was terrible. But you cannot say pause. If he say, he has to say no Vaseline if it's a scheme, John, if it's a scheme I, I, I about diss records. He can't skip that. That's one of the best. But John, like ever. I see, I seen your blog. Mm-hmm. He could have put that a different way. He know how. <laughs> don't put it like <laughs> hit him up. No, he could have. He could have found a way to like. Okay, let me put kill shot before the note. Mm-hmm. Like it's no way you put those two together, John. Like no way. It's no way. But and, I, and all I'm saying is, too, I was it's, expecting it's, it's him to say no Vaseline. It was coming somewhere. He had to say no Vaseline. True. True. He can't like leave that out if he. Crazy. Like, but then it's like when you in, in, in this culture, like when you take somebody's bar to like use it and flip it, like the the Earl, this man a goat. We all know K. Sean already said that. You said but that. like, when you yeah, take yeah. somebody's shit, you like the thing these niggas say is no. I flipped it and made it better. Like you made it worse. Like it wasn't even. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna did. tell y'all that the worst decision when I knew he out of town. Town is that when he started his third, his final round, and it was just bland like far it was no story there's no i'm about to rip k shine up it was like this is not even close to what should be a third round what is he thinking yeah 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 and and i i just i i get to the point where i'm like listen you cannot respond k shine is up there he's dancing on you my nigga like he's (laughs) dancing on you you can't come with this maya angelou spoken word calm (laughs) voice shit like nobody try to hear that shit, nigga. This nigga dancing on you. What are you doing? Yeah. Like, no, no, it's not gonna work, man. It's not gonna work. So he- does 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 the battle rap community take a L for jumping on his? Uh, I don't know if y'all cussing out, but jumping on mm-hmm. Jay Mills' side because he got he crushed uh Sean in the face off. Um, um, I, 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 I was mad. I, I, that face, that face off didn't do nothing for me because, like I said before, face off don't be nothing no more. I knew Jay Mills was gonna get three old. I, I, I've been saying that since the battle got announced. He's gonna get three old. We saying that, but if you read them comments, we can go back to it now. Mm-hmm. They was all ditching K Shine. Yeah, they was. They was. They was. But but the, but, but this, see, this, that's this Mills' thing, fault though. though. This, Mills should have lowered expectations. Given the no, fact that no, and on, on top of that, I'm gonna be real. Mills should have picked a different opponent. That's how I knew he wasn't studying battle rap. K. Sean is not really a good opponent to um to face in a small room because he got that rapid flow. So that's yeah. that shit. That, that, that's not a really that's a style clash for him. Like I knew that off red. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going up against there. You're you have ring. So let me get this straight. You have ring rust, right? You haven't done this shit for like 15, 20 years or some shit. And this is your first battle back, and you pick the nigga that's on fire. That's that's probably one of the top performers ever to do this shit at his prime. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what, what, what y'all mean? What y'all mean? He should have lowered expectations. He's stupid. Why well, I, I, I mean because all right. So we seen Reed come back. We seen all these different comebacks. Every time they had these comebacks, we gotta hear how they how they yeah, was but, them niggas and how they was you know they would kill niggas and this and that. 
What he should have done instead was lower expectations and, and, and be and be more respectful and be more deferential but, but, to the culture. But you can't that do way, that when you when you asking for what him and when you asking for what him and Mook asking for, mm -hmm. you I, when I pay you, you better not be out there lowering expectations. You better hype yeah, this shit yeah. up. What nah, you mean? Lower than that and we shit. know these niggas, know. Ain't, bro. I mean, this has been happening for years. We know these niggas aren't getting paid to come back and win a battle. We all know that they're right. not. They, they don't win. They're coming back to sell some tickets and pay per views. Like you better put you you better put on a show like you the you better act like you the greatest nigga ever. If I give you this money, you better give my That's money true. back, nigga. Nah, man. Yeah, and, I, and, I, I, and, I think you should went the other way with it. But, but and go, to be honest, ahead. I think I think I think Mills ruined it for any other legend that's left to come back. I don't mm. think y'all should ask for a crazy bag no more. Yo, cause he highway robbery ARP. Like whatever he got was tax free, and he definitely got over ARP for that. So wow. Wow, I, I think I think I think he ruined it for anybody coming back. Do, do y'all agree with Polo on that? Did, 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 did Jay Mills' performance ruin any chances for any uh, returning legend? I mean, I'm be honest. I didn't even want to see Jay Mills come back. I don't want to see none of them niggas come back. Like, I wanted to see Mook and Lux. That's it. I don't care about like I want to see Reed, Mook, Lux, Jay Mills coming back. I don't care. Cassidy coming back to battle rap. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I don't. These niggas ain't good anyway. The what best, happened? the best rappers are the niggas we watching every day and talk about every day. Facts. They already did. But I, I, I ain't well, gonna lie. I think. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I think Cassidy coming back is a little different because Cassidy has such a huge name. Like I don't feel Jay Jay Mills' name was huge, but it wasn't that crazy back in the day. Like Cassidy shit. Cassidy and Lloyd Banks was at one point the two biggest punchline rappers in the game. Mm -hmm. So I think Cassidy a little bit different. I think people always gonna want to see Cassidy just off the strength that it's Cassidy. But Jay Mills, nah, I, don't, I didn't really care for Jay Mills back then. I don't care for him now. Yeah. No, I think that uh, Cassidy owes the battle rock community an L. He can't come in here and, and, and brag about being disaster. He got to come back in here and catch his L. Yeah, he went on, disaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> on, on the strength of, of just famous people trying to come in battle, like, I don't understand why people going crazy like they're shocked. Like, what happened to Jay Mills is what's supposed to have happened to every single big person that came back. Facts. They're supposed to get 3 0 Yeah. Yeah, this is that's a, a fact, John. That, this is supposed that, to be it. Is, yeah. and, 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 and that's why none of us who follow this are surprised by what happened. We was more upset that Hollow didn't do this to Joe Budden. We was we more upset when Thank you. that's supposed to do this. Don't yeah, do cause this. I, mm -hmm. I had Joe Budden win and beat Hollow. God, that battle's yeah. awful. If, if all Joe Budden had yeah. to do was be more aggressive and it was like, it would have been bad. He would have bodied him. Yeah. But, um... It, yeah, exactly. I mean, I ain't gonna fly. Cassidy had one of my favorite returns, though. Like, that that, that parking lot moment was fire. When he was like, fucking out his head. That shit was fire. Right. Yeah. Right. But, well, it was, so, okay. All right. So, now we get to the point where uh, let's do, like, I mean, the, the, the takeaways from this shit, right? I, I don't, I, I feel like I got a lot more respect for what Mook did. I have a lot of respect for what Loach did. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, Look, these returns are difficult, my nigga. It is. But I want to get to our first, uh, you know, first question here from, you know, one of the guys that donate support and supporting the platform and all that. Shout out to Freestyle Media. He says, who was your champion tonight? And who did you have as, uh, what did you have as battle of the, uh, uh, of the night? Now, um... <sighs> We did. We haven't quite gotten back to the ill will shit yet, so I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hold that one. But yeah. um, but this this Mills situation right here with Kayshawn, does it does it push him over the edge to you on some champion of the year shit? Yeah, he twelve yeah. and old. He, he, he has a lot. I, like, yeah, when y'all go like really sit down and do, when you put on your suit and go do this shit. Yeah. Um, he hasn't lost a round this year. I think Geechee. That's gonna be the case. I still got Geechee personally. But that's gonna be a little case y'all can make. Like, ain't y'all lost around this year? Man, he just three would a legend, like not like a, a, a murder mood quality legend. And, and he like he just three. He whipped the he beat the shit out of him. So when, I, when he a, hasn't lost a round this year, that's crazy. Like this is one of the craziest runs I've seen. Who was that? All right, hold on, hold on. Let's mm -hmm. pause from this. Mm -hmm. Who who's had the best runs in battle rap so far? Like in the history of battle rap. Um, best Charlie runs. Clips, my nigga. Clips, we know, yeah, we know it's Clips. Clips shit clips. was out of control. Clips. Uh, Clips shit was out of control. Now on some like, on, but on, a wait, year, wait, wait. but to encapsulate it in a year like this, YK Ness Av and J Mills is fucking and, powerful. And YK and Ness is in their own hometown. In so, their own hometowns. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh K, K Sean hasn't. K Sean's been beating niggas in their playground. 
And that's a fact. Yeah, but not, not only that, but when you get uh, the, the 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 to me the purpose of of you being a battle rapper that the league on the he's like league hopping want... and bodying niggas, son. Like he's going to URL. Well, let me let me get Av out of here. He's going to RB. Let me get J Mills out of here. Let me get Young Cannon out of here. Let me he, yo. He's going to niggas territory, cleaning them up. It's like a UFC fighter getting called to okay. fight Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar is not a champ or anything. You want that name, that big. It's going to be a big event. It's going to be big in your resume when you get. So Geechee don't have that Brock Lesnar on his resume. Mm-hmm. Okay, Sean got everything Geechee got, but now he got that big Brock Lesnar-like uh, thing to go with it. So I don't see how this is going to be hard to vote. No, no, crazy but I do. When you're, well, but this no, what, me... My thing is when y'all telling me, y'all platform called champion. That's right. what I was getting at. Yeah, oh boy. y'all gave the nigga champion of the night three times. How the fuck I ain't the champion of the year? Mm, because I because yeah, they, didn't, the they didn't do champion because. on the on the shit that I won. Well, like, they didn't do yep. champion but, of the night but, on the shit I won. Yep. I mean, it's not like he got now. If he but got I mean, a chance to battle against, if he was on the same card as Gotti, yeah. and champion of the year was handed out yeah. to Gotti twice yeah. over K Shot, and then okay, you have an argument. They were on the same card, but why K yeah. Av? Well, YK Ness, we don't. Did we get champion of the night for, or he stopped doing it? Uh, type shit for the last. Yeah, for, the shit we have. Doing it. That's he just doing tra- it. see what happens. You see what fucking happens. I'm I'm sorry. Let me give. I mean, you see what happens when niggas try to do something for the culture to make the shit right, and all you fucking niggas start complaining and shit. It makes niggas not want to do <laughs> shit. It makes you not want to fucking do shit. It makes you not want to go and, and, and invest your time and do shit for the, for this shit. You see what I'm saying? So now. You niggas have taken that shit away, and this nigga did this shit. He didn't have to do that. You understand? So now that's yeah. corny. Now I, I mean, just, now y'all fucking me I'm up. I'm going to be honest. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm going to be honest, Tony, bro. If, if Let's say before the year tops out, Geechee has another good battle. Like, I don't yeah, know. Uh, with, with three, I'm, I'm just being honest. With two, three champions of the year, he's won more than anybody this year. Mm-hmm. How do you, how do you how do you not give it to me? Because because him? because I seen Geechee Gotti scared, nervous. I have seen that fear in his eyes from because he knowing he losing the battle in 2018. I have not seen that in Kayshawn. Mm. And that's against Awar. Like I've seen this man have that man, I'm losing look. That ain't oh, yeah, that, that ain't, that ain't happening. He definitely yeah. lost to Awar. See, and I and that's why, and that's the that's why that shit mattered. That's why, Posey, I try to tell you, even though it's on, you know, Kansas City Backyard Battle League, shout to them. Uh, that shit mattered. It does. When we start to really assess who was that nigga, and it's out of y'all two. You know what I mean? And I see people bring up the Hitman. Some Madness 6 was last year. So, that that's Yeah, not, exactly. That yeah, that's a, come on. Yeah, that really don't count. I, I just, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I get, I get. this is why I get, you know, the who, culture who, pisses me off. Who, but. who, who else does K-Shawn have to beat? That nigga just be like, all right, like, who else do he got to beat? K Shine's on vacation. She with his family to, to January 1st, if, if you ask me. Yeah. He good. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. he, he good. He, he, he just cleaned up a legend. Like, he made a legend. That shit is bad. Like, that. wait till all the media outlets start talking about this shit Monday. Like, the, the regular media outlets is not in battle rap. Like, Jay Mills is going to look fucking, like, terrible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. Once your button get a hold of that. Like he yeah, got. Yeah, well, how you diss Joe Budden in a battle, and then you say all that? Like once everyday struggle, all these people start talking about it's a rap. Yeah, yeah, and, then, and that's something Geechee don't have. Like, like you saying Joe Budden, everybody about to talk about this Kayshawn victory. Geechee don't got that in 2018. Yeah, I did. I, I feel like I, I feel I, like I feel like uh, Geechee. He faced harder competition too. I'm just being objective. Mm, really? Nah. It, 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 yes. Geechee, I, Geechee yeah. battle. Who? Having Young Cannon to me is like having Young Cannon. Those two people that Kayshawn beat this year, those are like two of the top people in the game right now. So now all of a sudden to Hold you, on, wait, the a nigga that don't... wait a second, Polo. Yeah. I've never yeah, heard like you Polo. Get... You're not about to. Yeah, I'm not about to let him. <laughs> <laughs> now all of a sudden, why? Can't... But now all of a sudden, I'm the only sudden, nigga up here can't... fighting for YK all the time. Nah, Stop me too. It. Me too. The, I, I do the now, whole. He hasn't lost in three years type shit. Yeah, but now all of a sudden he's a top guy in the game. So now like, all of a sudden he not a top guy in the game. Y'all but, but, saying, but why? But you can't, can't say that. He's like, you can't say that too. They mad at you, nigga. <laughs> so y'all can say, so y'all can identify that he's top. But when I say because, that, it's a problem. Because you I've never said to acknowledge that. that. Anytime I say any, say anything about why, man, that nigga's nobody, man. That nigga's ass, blah, blah, blah. Now all of a sudden, <laughs> no, when it comes to arguing he, for Kayshawn, he's one of them yo, niggas. Yo, yo, he, yo, I love Polo, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caught, nigga. Now, let, oh, yeah. But let's yo, go, let's yo, go yo, through Geechee's. 
Let's go through yeah, Geechee. I think, through Geechee I think only yeah, one that's like that's not powerful is Tech Nine. Like I don't consider that one like yo, he he was gonna kill we knew he was gonna kill that's how I look at the we knew Sean was gonna kill. Who Jay else is his wins though? Wait, wait. Did he wait, let's do his wins? Look at the comp I'm talking about the competition, J C. Oh let Okay. T Top. Av. Av T Top. K Sean uh, battled that. Yeah, that's that, okay. well, that's true. That's true. But but, but t so Geechee has Tech Av J C T Top. Yeah. Battle them too. T top, JC, and Tech uh, Nine. Yeah, Nine is the only one that's a dud. Like, yo, he was gonna win that. Record. He thirty the him. But the thirty, we're not doing Jay Mills was gonna get thirty. Thirty's a thirty. No, nobody thought Jay Mills was gonna get thirty. We all knew he was gonna get nine. We all knew Jay Mills was gonna get except for us. Except for yo, they was killing us in the comments. Yeah, they was. No, they was. Yeah, they was. Yeah, it was two or three niggas. Nigga. Nah, it ain't real. Oh, after the face off, I really even said on the comments, everybody had Mills winning. Yeah. Wait, wait. So hold, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, that why, nigga sucks why, too. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> why? <laughs> Ooh, that nigga tight. <laughs> wait. Oh, God damn. So, so K Shine, K Shine had YK, Ness, Av, and J Mills. Geechee had Tech, Av, JC, and T Top. It, oh, so we only name his victories? No, we're named. Well, oh, yeah, well, an A Ward. Yeah, 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 John. Thank you. See, shout out to John. They said Geechee versus Av was last year. Okay. Yeah, Geechee. Okay. okay. So then so now who we got to take that off. Exactly. So who was his battles tech, this year? He tech, only... A Ward, uh, JC. Why do you keep trying to, like, Nah, it won't be him. It we counts, not, we not gonna let that fly. It, it count. all counts. Uh, it all counts. Everything counts. Why would it not count? Can somebody, what's the yeah, argument? Hold on, I'm not saying it don't. I'm not saying it don't count. But no, no, not, like, not even with you, but with the fans. Uh, why are fans saying the A-War okay, count? Okay. I don't know, man. These 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 Sue Surf fans is crazy. But, oh, I left um... one out. Gotti battled Suge, too. Gotti battled Suge. So we got Tech, A-War, JC, T-Top, and Suge. Mm. Okay, so let's go through that. Which one's he clearly won? Tech? Which one did he clearly win? He, he, Y'all saying he clearly won all the I think, he, I think he beat all, everyone except for A-War. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, so so you got wins Ugh. over over Tech, JC, T Top, and Suge. Y'all got him being wait wait y'all got wait wait wait, wait hold on, hold on. I think I had JC I think I had JC winning two one yeah, yeah yeah and then JC was a debatable yeah I thought I like that grown man shit JC was, was debatable too I think I'm just going off of what consensus what niggas is what the what the it, consensus is saying that I feel you yeah there are more people saying that uh is, you know, is, is niggas, niggas saying that the Suge one was clear cut they yeah. saying that the Shug I think people are saying Suge was clear. I think Suge was uh was clear and JC. They're was saying clear. all his wins are the like the I feel he lost to JC, but I can't go by how I feel. I go by with the majority of the public. Majority of the public are saying that he beat JC two one. Yeah. So what are they saying about um um T top? I, Cause I know when that came out, they saying they saying two one two one against all of them except for three zero with Tech Nine, and I think he lost to A uh, or three zero. He like A won won all three rounds. Yeah, yeah, AWOL, AWOL killed him. Yo, how you get champion of the year if you get smoked? 3 -0? Yeah, like you can't get smoked three zero. Like niggas smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. AWOL killed him. Like that, that was that was a that was a bad that was a bad one. But then, but then, does that outweigh? Because I mean, okay, so if it if it was just Tech, JC, T Top, and Suge, you could make a case that that's actually a more difficult schedule <clears> than. Well, see, I can't even do that. Like, you 30 YK. Niggas do not just 30 YK. Like, I'm sorry. It, it doesn't happen. Yeah. It does and not happen. In hometown. In Chicago. In Chicago? That's crazy. No. And then, I, I get then, it. Then he win a fight after that. Yeah, well, he punched a nigga in the face and then 30 them. Like, come on. Yeah, like, he be a nigga. I, I wait, get, wait, 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 wait. I, I get fought somebody oh. too? Yeah, yeah he, punch, he punched his homeboy before the he battle. Yeah, But yeah. I, I get y'all, but it ain't going to be like. If if we, if we gonna give it to Sean, we might as well y'all might as well not even buy them cheap ass suits and go up there. Niggas <laughs> might as well just give it to them. Yo, yo, first off, hey, I ain't getting it. Yo, first off, Fuck first you. off, the only person getting invited to this is Tom, bro. That's true. So Tom, yeah, represent well, Tom. Yeah, but I just yeah, feel right. like like if we like why do it if we niggas know? It? I feel like Geechee gotta it's a it's ways to though Geechee. It ain't that clear cut. Oh, no, nah, it's going to be debated, man. You know how these niggas get, man. Last year, look at the comments right now. Almost, last year, yeah. I, almost yeah. fucking, I almost fucking cried when they didn't put Brills yeah. on the list. I'm like, what? So, yeah, man. I, I, wait, hold on a second.
I, I mean, you can look at the comment section right now and see it's gonna be not yeah. like an easy win for K Shine because these dudes on the day they going they riding for uh, Geechee right now. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah. They are, and and you know what? And I get it. I think there is an effort. I'm gonna say it, and I don't want to get punched on. There's an effort to spread this thing around <laughs> to the other coast. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like. You know what I'm saying? If, yeah. it's, if it's close, like, nah, it's just fuck it. Let's. It makes for a better. It makes for a better battle rap story for it to go to the west. It does. But you know, you know, like if Sean do win this, you know what I want you brothers to do, especially for love. <laughs> uh, 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 I don't know about not, that, Tom. Cause look, what we not gonna do? Ness was never powerful to niggas. Ever. Him and YK was never powerful, yo. I got less on my resume. Now we powerful. Let's keep nah, that YK energy. is yeah, powerful. Let's man. keep that. Polo gotta knock it off. I ain't gonna hold Let's you. Let's keep chill, that energy chill. for next year. <laughs> things things <laughs> change, man. Things change. I left the battle rock community. What's his name? Uh, Rum Nitty was it? Nobody. John, let me, let me now, now you, you, John, when you was gone. Ness was never powerful, John. You was gone. For- <laughs> <laughs> so he stayed down. <laughs> I feel you, man. At no point, but but so those of us in you know a lot of us were had already said that about YK. Now Polo is the type of the type of fan who always shot on YK. So him, yeah. yeah, yeah, like you fronting now, Polo. Like you, you is, you is. I ain't gonna hold you. But Ness is not a powerful win. Neither is uh, Tech Nine for Geechee. Like, but but you know I'm happy though that there is competition because um, most of the year it was Geechee easy. It was just Geechee. Why even go up there? Geechee got it easy. K Shine come come through, and now we got a debate. Mm-hmm. And it is a story of K Shine win. You was the side nigga of the side nigga, and now you got your own story. This is your, you know, they make a battle rap movie about K Shine. This is we about to end the movie yeah. here. You coming from up on the T Rex, a beat T Rex coming from fun of the Mm-hmm. Unless he battle move. I think, and th- at this point, thank you, John, for uh, the alley oop to the segue. <laughs> Murder Mook, Murder Mook, you might have to talk to K. Shine. I ain't gonna hold you up. I think, I think you might have to talk to him. You know what I'm saying? Um, to me, that battle that that makes sense at this point. Uh, if I'm K. Shine, I might wait for that. If they can set that up, Adam them, uh, I would love to see what that would turn out to be, because I like what K. Shine is doing. I do. Would you rather see if URL did a, a, just a, a card, like the end of the year card, so it still counts 2018? Would you rather see K Shine versus Geechee or, or K Shine versus uh, Mook? K Shine versus Geechee. Yeah. Because it's a, it's a year in, it's a championship match. You can market it as, you could have an event with just one, like just that battle on it. Like just, and, yeah. I, and charge niggas five, ten dollars. I'm paying for that. It's a championship battle. Facts. So yes, I'm with that all day. It is uh the upcoming Summer Madness eight, the last event for URL this year. Uh, I think so. Yes. I think that is the their last big event. Let me put that in quotes. So um, uh, so I ain't no way anybody can squeeze in your Geechee versus Sean. I don't think there nah, is. That's probably gonna be next year. But it won't, the, matter, it won't matter, man. But the idea, yeah, you know, yeah. as as fans, I like to put the power in our hands. If we wanted to really seriously see a championship match between now and the end of the year, we'd have to campaign for it like now. But if people were gonna go fund it and throw it in there, I'm I'm put I would put money on that. I would yo, I, y'all, would too. I wanna see a fucking cha- give me a championship. But check this out though. With <laughs> you ain't gonna like this. Will there be a reason for all y'all to buy them suits and fly out there if they book a Sean versus Geechee? Um, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, because this year, this year, what's gonna be the petty shit? People thinking that the top nigga is gonna be a petty shit. No, the petty shit is gonna be five through like fifteen. Like that's gonna be nasty this year. Uh, I, I don't know what to like because if you really look at who could be top twenty, there's a lot of interchangeable shit you could do. So yeah. Um, wait, they said, they said volume three is in December. Okay. Uh, volume three is in December. December no, no. Volume three is not in no December. I did not hear that. Did Somebody not. said December 15th. Yeah. Nah. I have not heard any buzz on that. Uh, I see. I, and, but, but it would be interesting though, if they could get that on some last minute book and shit. Uh, now I see people already punching on the top twenty shit, incorporating. Yo, people. check it, check this out. What if Sean versus Geechee was uh, Volume Three, December fifteenth, and it was debatable? Go. Oh my god, 
<laughs> oh, so my nightmare, nightmare scenario, nightmare yeah, that, fucking scenario where you could end up having a co-champion thing, especially if it's debatable and a classic. Like, uh, yeah, you just give both of the niggas a shit, man. Like for real, to be honest with you, um, man, O'Ray, O'Ray really skated away with a free ten thousand and do nothing this year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, oh, yeah. he, he body Cortez. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> He three o he three o them nasty. He that's as close you can get for losing three o and not get body. Let me put that. Let me let me put that properly. Cause Cortez was saying shit, but that nigga lost three o. Like, and then what happened after that? Uh, <clears throat> nothing. Shit. I feel like uh, whatever the, the old red went back to Jersey. The uh, security. I don't. I don't know what old red does in his off time, but the nigga just disappeared. So, yeah. Um. But uh, but yeah, no. So so that that is that battle overall. With that being the battle that happened after, so that's when I started to panic. Polo, remember Polo? We, me and you sitting next to each other, like, damn, they micing this yeah. shit up right now. Like, I started to panic at this point. I was about yeah, to try to get my forty back, low key. Like, I was trying to see checking emails and see like what's the proper protocol to get you. <laughs> oh yeah, you just gotta call your bank, man. Say it was a uh, uh, charge bag, man. Charge but then bag. I saw our, I saw our ERP tweet like, nah, we still have in the calico, and um, it will. So I was like, yeah. all right, I I fuck with them. I get these niggas my forty. Bruh, I cannot explain the level of confusion. Then anger. yeah, but that was so weird though. That was like because it's like even though they still battled in the parking lot, it's like what I didn't I technically didn't see them where I paid to see them at. So I was like, it's kind of yeah. confusing. Exactly, nah, the way bro. that they shot it though, that shit, that's low key a classic, man. Yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I do, yeah, I do yeah. like this. I like the way they, it was shot. They, they low key might have got a new area for them to shoot their battles. That shit was fire. Who, who like y'all had shit. winning? Because I literally just watched them yeah, battle right too. before we started this this podcast. I don't know. I, I feel like Calic, but man, it will was wilding. It yeah, was, man. Yeah, it will was wild. I, I ain't thought gonna was snapping too. I think that might have been a classic. Like I, I hate saying classic. I, I love that battle, that. man. You think you think it, you th- you think it's the setting that made it like that? Oh, nah, nah, really- I think the energy, that little city, big city beef thing, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the energy too. Yeah, and then when uh fucking, it was so dope when Ill Will said the shit about yeah. Yo, us Pontiac niggas used to take y'all buffs like they glasses. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Nope. It's like, nope, that's not facts, nigga. Nope, nope. Yeah. That nigga Calico was not having that shit. That's how you know it's some real regional yeah. shit like going on. You know what I mean? I was mm-hmm. fucking with that moment too, but um, I don't think I don't like that ear wheel did when he. I th- he it looked like he conceded when in round three when um when Kyle said it, Trump build a wall between us and you know Pontiac. Yeah, you know, that shit was both, dope. Yeah, like <laughs> ear wheel was like rocking with Kyle. Then I'm like, hey, nah, nigga, keep that keep that animosity energy, man. It's like he was giving in, so like Kyle, you know, either won the battle or at least won that round. Yeah. Exactly. Like I um I like the battle though. This shit was dope. This was dope. I don't know. I have no idea where it was. I I don't really I didn't I, I didn't really have goons and goblin type of talk. I wanted it to yeah. be where I was, nigga. I ain't feel like moving, nigga. What? I I, didn't, I wanted to go home. I'm I'm gonna say this, man. Ill Will had the better material to me. But that energy, that performance for from with Calico was making up for it, so it just depends on what you like like the most. But I think the the the, mo- the better written shit came from Ear Will. Okay, okay, I'm rocking to me, oh, yeah, and I, I just that. watched it right before we went live. Okay, um, I I think uh, I gave I gave Will the first, I gave Cal the second and third. I thought Cal took off in the second though. That yeah, nigga was. I, I love Cal what he did what he was doing. Boy, he was spazzing, but that that whole I, I, I see how the uh hold on polo polo getting gas. Let me, <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah, uh let, uh but no. So the 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 way that I came about with this whole shit was I felt like in the second the way Calico was talking to Ill Will was fucking crazy. Both of yeah, these seconds was, was hard, yeah. but I that energy and then that um I see what Cal be doing and I understand why niggas get mad at shit like that. That nigga be bumping and touching and nigga, mm-hmm. and it would even be hard taps, but it's just the combination of you saying this foul ass shit about me and you and my like nah nigga. That nigga was talking in the ill will's ear. Like if his not hoodie not wasn't on, that. like yeah. 
go back and watch the first round again. Ill will first round. Ill, Ill will going crazy. Like I'm talking, we talking about tiny centimeters. Mm-hmm. Hal kept moving closer and closer, yeah. cutting this dude off. And like you got to like really pay attention. I'm like, yo, he doing the shit shotgun should be doing to most people, and that takes away from your performance. Right. Hal came to win, man. I, I prefer both. I, I don't know who I think won the second or third round, mm-hmm. but I know I got Ill will win the first round. Agreed. Agreed. Okay. Okay. How'd you call it? Yeah, Will was wilding. Uh, talking about the first round? Yeah, yeah first round. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Start with the first uh, round. I think I might have had. I'm trying to make it. I'm trying to think of like the main moments that I had remember. I don't even remember clearly, but I feel like I might have had Calico in the first. If okay. I'm not mistaken, I'm not mistaken. I might not even be giving you a correct. Uh, I think though. I think I had Calico in the first. Mm-hmm. I think so. Okay. Okay. Second round to me is not second round to me. Calico really like got in his fucking bag to me. Uh, but that both of their seconds was dope. I'm, I'm giving Calico that uh, battle was ill, son. And I really felt yeah. like um, shout out to them for holding it down because that shit looked like it was about to go left. Uh, I didn't watch it live, so I don't know how y'all. But how did y'all feel when y'all was watching shit live? Like my nigga, that's my favorite. Ba- like we didn't see it live because they uploaded it. Uh, like uh, I think an hour after, hour oh, okay. or two after. Okay. Like right when the Laker game went off, they it was like uploaded. So mm-hmm. y'all had yeah. um. Yeah, it was like that. That battle, man, that's my favorite battle this year. My, it might be one of my favorite battles. I'm not even, I'm, mm. like, I'm, I'm not reaching. Like, that's that battle was fire. Man. Check this shit out, man. It will give you that energy, especially in this battle, that you can bump other people, mm-hmm. but I'm not the nigga you're going to bump a move around. Yeah, like, Cal, you know, Cal still did it. Around. He still did it. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> he was like, he chilled the first time around. Second round, like, and who the fuck you think you are? I do you like this too. He still did it. Yeah, that's a fact. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. Um, I, I just, I appreciated it. I like it. I think it's going to look good on cam. Uh, like, like when it really, really comes out on some shit, yeah, and it, it reminded like me it. of when Rex battled DNA. Like, I, I like that. Oh yeah. I like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like that feel. Um, but you know, so, uh, but then again, I kind of thought about it. Like we have seen this twice now where they have to shift it over to another venue, you know what I'm saying? Or we have like a different setting and shit. Like, are we at a point now where y'all really like, Fans really know what setting they want certain battles to be in. All right, can we? If, if, I, if I paid like y'all, I'd be mad in the bill. I'd be I'm pissed. I, I am actually. I am actually. Upset. Me ordering the ordering the pay per view. I, I saw all the battles, so I'm cool. I saw all of them. Yeah, yeah I don't have a problem. Yeah, okay. but if I was there, I probably feel some kind of way. Like I feel like ARP should have gave everybody like a login at the thing. Like yo, login. It's the login. Like or some shit. Tell niggas like yo, you could go see the last battle because y'all don't. Get, I had to give niggas. I had to get y'all my login to go yeah. see the Calico and Hell Will. So yeah, that yeah. wasn't like you pay and you paid to be there. So that's like that's crazy. You know yeah, what I'm so, yeah, that's trash, man. That that to yeah. me that's that's whack as fuck. Cause it's like, especially at the event, the event being the way that it was and the way that, that battle turned out, that battle mm-hmm. would have shifted everybody's perception that left that building. It would have. I feel like it. It was the ambiance. Like I, I don't. I feel like that. Stay Nobody should have left that. that building mad, man. If you had real yeah. expectation, if I would have paid my money, I expected K Shine to destroy J Mills. I expected what happened to happen, so I would not have been let down. Mm. Yeah, but I, I really wanted to see Ill Will versus Calico live versus Calico. Yeah, on the stage. Not like, for you. I that feel was you. that was the battle that I wanted to see because I think it's an incredibly important battle. And because of the way it turned out, especially I'm I I finished watching that battle. I was hyped, and then I got fucking mad again. I'm like, nigga, I wanted to be at this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wanted this to be where the fuck it was supposed to be, but, you know. If that crowd was down, I think that crowd could have taken away from from what we saw, the ill wheel versus us. Uh, That's what I'm saying. So I'm mm-hmm. glad it's okay. that way. Okay. That, like, it's not. It, no, you break, with, you're breaking up, Post. Say it one more time. State. My, I feel like that. Stage when they, if it was on the stage, you you pose. You might have to come back. You breaking up pretty All bad, right. brother. Um, but but no, I I think uh as far as the crowd though, we was all so excited to see that battle that it was like yo, like bro, like we was we was jacked yeah. up. And then so when the lights came on, and then the bouncers was on some low. Yeah, I got to get out. I'm I was sick. I guess they um uh, beforehand they told. 
you know, the lady at the bar was telling ARP, like, yo, I'm giving y'all another five minutes, then the motherfucking lights is coming on. It's kind of, you brothers can hear me? My yeah, fault. we got you. Yeah. We got you, bro. Uh, what you saying? Well, I, I was saying about the battle, yeah. if it was, I feel like if it was on the stage, it just wouldn't have been the same. Like, the ambiance with the... And, and that little fuck, they battled that. Like, that made it perfect for me. Okay. Okay. So... Um, yeah, right. I do this on purpose. If I own the league, I have some battles in there. I'm like, yo, we got this one battle on later on. Yeah, so people who paid VIP or whatever, like to make it a small. I do that on that shit was dope, especially if it's uh animosity. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I agree. I agree with that. That um, battle made me think like battle rap need like if this shit didn't cost so much money to book these niggas, we need to like restart battle. Wait, wait, restart it. Yeah, like let's just like, go back. back to small, small. Yeah, room, like let's just stuff. the complete reboot, like and just you go can, back. You can, you can do that once, it, once the pay per view. Like if pay per view make a lot of money, you can. But if yeah. ARP selling out his stuff, two hundred dollars, one hundred dollar ticket, yeah, he gonna keep you, you know. Yeah, <laughs> but, 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 but real, what I'm saying, reboot with no event, like, not, like what I'm saying is like we just, oh, we just gonna do Calico and um, Calico and Ill Will is both in New York. We finna do this battle at the. McDonald's like parking lot, mm. and, and just sell that shit. shit. Yeah, just sell that. Like, yo, there, there you go. But I know that'll never happen. Like, that's like unreal. Like, the only way I would be down for a complete <clears throat> restart is if we restart, we make everybody's record zero zero, and we get rankings going. Yeah. That that to me is the only way a restart makes any sense. Rankings is you want these battle two type niggas. Y'all kind of just ranking shit. I want rankings. That's, I do. Not, no, no, this shit ain't. A, about rankings and shit. Uh, I think it is. I think I think we've got to that point. It's not. not it's I not. think we've got no. to. I think I think we've got to the point now where it's so uh, so many different regions involved. It's so it's so many good rappers. It's more competitive than it's ever been. Now is the perfect time, given the given the fact that we need something added to the game. We have a, a big follow, a big growing base of people that support this shit, right? That care about the battles. Now you can put that together and create ratings based on what people say that the battle outcomes are. And if you want to be on that, you you vote. You make a profile, or whatever, somewhere you vote. But that shit, like when we say rankings, that shit is literally just cosplay champion. Mm-hmm. Nigga, this shit ain't about rankings and shit. You know, this shit battle rap. Like, that's true. What the fuck you talking about ranking? When we when we talk about rankings and shit, that's cosplay shit. This shit ain't no real. You can't tell it. It's an opinion based thing. You can't. Yo, yeah, he ranked second. I thought he lost though. How you gonna tell? Yeah, me you, I mean, look, listen, listen. The, when the AP ratings come out, shout to John. When the AP ratings come out, it's always a fucking commotion. Yes, we will come yeah. on the show. We'll probably be mad sometimes, whatever. But niggas eventually get used to it. Champion of the year. When champion decide to do that, do you know what was happening online? Like niggas was getting killed about this shit. I seen Jay Black tweet today. He quitting. Like I'm not. I'm tired. Yeah, of like cosplay. he just. I'm, like, I'm done. I'm done because I'm tired of doing this cosplay. Uh, Sports shit, like no, I'm not <laughs> dealing with you. But all this, but, 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 like my nigga, I'm just keeping it real. Like, all this shit cosplay. starts from somewhere, though. Everything yeah. starts from somewhere. You have to put a yeah. fucking stake in the ground. Yeah, you're not gonna get it right the first time, and you just adjust and correct. But the 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 fact of the matter is, champion of the year and champion of the night has become battle rap lexicon to the point where. Even leagues that don't have not affiliated with champion or URL or anything like that, I like yo champ. Who's the champion of the night? Like it's become like that yeah. now. It's a brand now, so that means that people obviously care about it enough or feel like it's decent enough to where yeah, it's not perfect, yeah. but we've added another level of something else has to be added here. It has to, period, or it's not gonna. I don't think it's gonna sustain itself over the lifetime. You cannot yeah. sustain it with just. Yo, this nigga from here, he battling him. This nigga from here, it's not gonna. It, it doesn't grow like that, in my opinion. You know, um, I just feel like it's never. It ain't supposed to get to that ranking mode. Like it never was built from that. So it's like, don't try to change it now. Like, mm-hmm. oh, he rank like rankings just make it weird. It's still a street like thing come from the concrete. So yeah. in my, that's my opinion though. Yeah, that that cosplay line was fucking hilarious. That was great. <laughs> yeah. uh, my bad, Jay Black. I want to okay. see a Jay Black. I'm quitting blog, like where he's fuck this shit. <laughs> like we get the real, <laughs> we get the real West Philly Jay Black, like the real Jay Black. <laughs> yeah, fuck this shit, man. Y'all niggas is ungrateful, nigga. Fuck is y'all talking about in my inbox all fucking day, sending me bullshit. Like that nigga said. I think T Top 
tweeted what uh like uh champion yeah is by the most biased platform in battle rap jay black tweeted him back we quitting <laughs> <laughs> Like nigga, I, like I, if I I get tired of these niggas too. Hell like I try yeah, to help. Yeah, niggas, niggas ten thousand dollars. Yeah, like if I impact the community like that, I just wouldn't give a fuck what people are saying, bro. If y'all talking about champion like this, if it's bothering y'all this much and people debating and everything, I feel like I'm that nigga. That's true. I think that's probably largely why he ignores most shit. But when you have battlers saying it, it's different. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like. You know, like you just can't. It's for whatever reason you can't add something to the culture without getting shit on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I don't. I don't get it. Like so. So look, you know that. So what would happen if Black Compass started something like Champion and people care about it that much? You shouldn't care because you going into that. Mm -hmm. Like I, I know it, so I'm like I don't care. Like I'm gonna do my thing and and laugh at the people who mad about it. Yeah. The fucked up part nigga. will be is if shit ends. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, champion yeah. man! Like they need to bring like y'all niggas, y'all make me fucking mad with <laughs> this shit, yo. Yeah, I like champion do end niggas gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. I like champion because it, it's 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 some shit to talk about. It's like we in a barber shop and all of us like battle rap. We can talk about this battle. We talking about who gonna win champion of the year. Some shit to debate, and that's what we here for. Yeah, yeah, bar. Uh, yeah, that's why I like battle champion. rap. Part of battle rap is the debates, the barbershop convos, the talk. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. don't think. And I think uh, part of what Posey has always said is that the rankings and like a champion would take away the talk. I don't believe that. I don't. I think you, you'll you have people who will disagree with it and it adds another layer to the conversation. You know what I'm saying? Because you got them niggas like, um, this is a perfect example. Like I be debating my little brother. You know, we used to like I Iverson. Mm -hmm. Defensive, or, like Iverson, stat, statistically, he's not crazy. He's not. So, well, my little brother my little brother trying to hear this such and such nigga this mm -hmm. look at the stats mm -hmm. like i can't when i tell him nigga the eye test though nigga iverson the eye tested me like he telling me but nah curry Kyrie is better this little nigga though we can't like it's gonna be it's gonna be, the eye test shit gonna be be mm -hmm. able like that's our break like hold on hold on a second hold on you 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 cut out the last uh sentence there my bad good did, did, our shit is not Oh, and we lost. Did we lose and pose? Froze. Pose. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna tell you something else oh, controversial. Out here, I like I like the fact that people are are saying that they think that champion is paid for by URL and bought too because it's just more shit to talk about. <laughs> that shit is like, annoying it, 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 as fuck, bro. <laughs> Could you imagine, John? You put all your money, all your time, your effort. You get a studio going. You get multiple cameras, and you spend your time doing production. Only a motherfuckers to tell you. To discredit what you've been doing because they feel like you've been, you've been fucking co-opted. Like no, I would not like it no, if they did that no. one time. If they did it one, but if they do it and they still watching me, they still giving me sixty thousand views of video. They still they making videos and stuff, calling me by. I'd be happy. True. I I, I be laughing like a motherfucker behind the scenes. You watching me? Bro. But my nigga, you a Deadpool type nigga. Like everybody, <laughs> <laughs> my nigga, everybody ain't like. That, yeah, like, we not, like, everybody, is not like, everybody is not like that. Man. Yo, like, John Rise being can. Deadpool is fucking hilarious. Why is that so funny? Like everybody is not a Deadpool nigga, man. Like hey. Yo, they, they, hey, they talking. Oh shit. All right. That's all that matter. So uh all right. So this this event overall, I would say as somebody who was in attendance, I was very disappointed by not getting the last battle. That being said, I know yeah. for sure I'm gonna watch Clean versus uh Gems again. I'm going to watch yeah. I'm going to I'm going to fucking not eat anything and watch QB versus uh Shuni. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to female man. battle rap. Yeah, shout yeah, shout 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 out to ladies, man. Word up, but no, I'm not eating during yeah. that. Uh and I'm going to Watch K Sean kick J Mills' ass and J Mills mm -hmm. say things. Oh my God, the Adrian Broner line. I don't know. Like, I don't know if it came across. The Triple G. Yeah. The Triple G, Adrian Broner, and the Vontae Davis Marcos lines. Marcos Madonna. Bruh. Bruh. Them Madonna shits, is who he meant. I like niggas, <laughs> damn. Oh, nigga was sitting next to me. He's like, I want to walk out right now. Like, he was so tight. He was like, yo, what? I'm leaving. The, yeah. the the Vontae Vontae Davis plays what sport again? Like, what are you talking about, Mills? Like, it, it was yeah. 
It was bad, bro. It was it was very bad. It was very bad. Well, you thought whiskey business was bad. This nigga had four of those. Mad so, mad? Yeah, mad mad. Yeah, mad mad. That's whiskey business. You mad mad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you old like me, it's still whiskey business. That's still yeah, it's whiskey business. That's a fact. Uh, now let's give out uh, out of ten pose. How what do you get? A, what do you give the event out of ten? The whole including, event, including, uh, including the face off. I include the face offs in the entire thing. <laughs> Like a five six five, I do five point five five point five out of ten. Okay, I I, I really enjoy Calico and Ill Will, like mm-hmm. so they gave me one classic in my opinion. Yeah, okay, John, what you got, bro? I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. There's nothing wrong with being biased if you as long as you let the fans know that you biased. Everybody know I, I rocks with ARP. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 10, that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> Bias gang, shout out to John, man. That's a fact. Um. I'm going to, from my in the building uh, perspective, I'm going to give it a five. I did not get my ill will calico battle where I wanted it to have. Where I but you got for something be. so much better. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I wanted to be there when calico's talking that shit to him and ill will's responding. All I wanted to be there for that. So I, I mm-hmm. as a paying customer, I am not happy with that. But that being said, I actually do think. There are at least three battles here that I'm going to go back and watch, and I'm okay with that. And to me, that's enough for a six. I'm, I'm going to do a six. And taking and, and, and if I'm just counting my rage about not seeing Ill Will and Calico, I'm giving it a five. So Five? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so that's the Lifted Soul. Now, we did have some takeaway uh, questions on that. Um, okay. Bat- battle of the Night, I think we all saying it's Cal and Ill Will or, or no? Yeah, yeah, I got Cal and Ill Will. Okay. Oh man, I got a big heart. People think I'm so mean. I'm gonna have to go. Just female battle rap needs mm-hmm. that boost, and they gave everything they got. So even though you know, mm-hmm. I'm really fucking with Cal and Ill, I'm gonna go ahead and give it to Shuni and uh, QB. I'm not mad at that. I'm definitely not even mad they at that. post game. I seen they had a hip hop is real post game. Like they really wanted to win. Yeah. Shuni yeah. Like, Yo, I, two won me. Like and then QB was like, Nah, I won. QB or Shuni like, Nah, like really. Go grab somebody. Like, let's see who won. Like, that energy was needed. Yeah, that was dope. That was dope. Yeah. That was very dope. And I, I'm actually very proud of Shuni because she stepped her shit up big time, in my opinion. Nah, she did. She did. But, um, all right. So, uh, I got – so, that was the other joint from Freestyle Media. Uh, Duke Duke's Way GMB says uh, – $2 you get. He says, went from top event to possibly the worst event. So, uh, did you feel that like as the night went on that this is uh, not turning out to be – as good or, or what? Because uh, of Jay, like Jay Mill's performance made it feel like, damn, because that's the nigga we, we really, I saw who I paid to see personally. Like, yo, let me see what he got. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. But the Calico and um, it will kind of saved it for me, like, at the last second. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I have a question. What, what, how do we break up when we see a, a, an, a, an event turn bad? How do we break up? Who's at fault? So if if something goes wrong, it's automatically on the list. If if K Shine smokes the fuck out of J Mills, mm-hmm. that's on ARP. That's just how it works. You know how this shit work. Like it do. Like for some reason. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how it is. Yeah. <laughs> hey, bias gang. Bias gang in the building though. Bias gang uh, in the building. That's a fact. Yeah, but, hey, you know you. That's on ARP. That's on or no. But you right though. It really. How was it my fault for? But like I try to get a dope event, but yeah. how was it my fault? Like <laughs> uh, it, it's not. It's not the only thing yeah. that I'm I'm holding ARP accountable for is the uh, the timing here, but that's about it. Everything else is on the MCs. But you know how you know how this shit work. I mean, it's just like a QB. You know what I'm saying? You could throw the pass perfect if he bobbles it and another nigga picks it off. That's an interception in your column. Yeah. So it's just how it yeah, works. It's just how, it, works. It's just how yeah. it is. Um, but okay. So shout out to Braille. He says one SK is URLs PGs. Not hard to figure out. I disagree. The PGs is a lot more structured than that. And I don't know what Lawrence is doing in terms of recruiting. Uh, it looks like he's touching different uh, uh, areas and so on and so forth. I salute to that. PGs do that as well. But there's yeah. a lot more structure to what they got going on in the PGs. So I think that's a little yeah. bit mature, bro. Um, Yo, how are you reading the, uh, the Super Chats after they've already gone? I have I have copied and pasted them in a the notepad. I, I have like okay, f- cool. I have like 10 windows open. It's just, it's just a lot of shit going on. Uh, I got you. But, um, but yeah, so, so, that, so that was dope. Uh, to me, yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, the, the the URL PGs, there is nothing in battle. And this is why I say people are worried about the wrong shit. Um, no one has a farm system that's fucking with URL's farm system. 
Period. Nobody. Period. Like nobody. Nobody. And, and, and until some league comes up with a better way to get new talent and push them and bring them on the platform brand new. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. That that's still gonna exist. To me, you can't beat URL one year by having, you know, two powerful events. You cannot. Yeah. You, you're not. It's not long term success, in my opinion. Um, it was kind of the first people to do that, like when they introduced Clean and Be Magic. With yo, this is called Proving Grounds. Like exactly. that was the. So like they just they took if, that if, lane. If you did, if y'all didn't run black conference, you know, y'all just regular battle rap fans. Mm-hmm. Is there a pay per view that you paid for that you would not have paid for? Ooh, this year, the yeah. one where they beat the the one where they beat up Rome. Oh, okay. I think that was Survivor Series. Was that Survivor? Yeah, that was Survivor Series too. Yeah, up. yeah. You would not have got that, that one. That, that's it. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't like. I didn't like that one at all. Yeah, I didn't like okay. that. One. Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah. I think that's probably the one that I would. Uh, yeah, that's probably the one I would pick too. On some real I think I think that ARP isn't no biasness is in a great place going into 2019. I think so too. I think so too. I no think, bias. I think we should return, we should bring the bricks back. Cause mm-hmm. you know, yeah. and, and and um because I do think the identity of RBE uh when Adam was put ARP was putting together some of the best matches I had seen, you know, uh, yeah. back I would say between like 17 and or well, 16, 15 you know, maybe 14 when Boom was out and stuff, and he was kind of the face of that. I felt like yeah. he was putting together good matches with guys that we didn't know could give us these good matches. Go back. I'll name a show couple. Off. Show off. Show off versus uh for show off versus uh uh with Hazy Williams, dope battle. Uh, yeah. uh Big Cannon versus um uh money bags and that one rounder. That shit is dope. You know what I mean? He, yeah. he gave us a lot of dope shit out of nowhere. So I think we need to return back to that form. If you're going to give us these big events, nigga, that's cool. But let's have this other shit going on, too. You know? Don't, don't get away Because ARP used to be that nigga that like, oh, shit, you ain't getting like, these your your all ain't giving you a shot with this name you want? I got you. I'll like give you Verb. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, I'll give you Verb. Yeah, you want Verb? I got you. Like, Holmesy, you want Verb? Here, here go the very battle for you, Jack boy. I got you. Exactly. Like, that's what ARP used to do. So. And, and then they would fuck around and have a good battle with the like that. That's how Adi yeah. Boom was doing. You know what I'm saying? Like Boom was mm-hmm. having these good battles yeah. with Verb and Goods. Like it, it just that's a fact. That's a fact. But, but and now yeah, because of the lack of interest with URL, ARP owns the Super Bowl of female battle rap. Whoever, whatever they go up there to battle, that's the biggest of uh, female battle of the year. I agree. Debo man. Debo, you gotta you gotta fix this, brother. <laughs> shout shout out shout out to Debo too. I saw him in the joint. Oh, and I always like to do this. Shout out to the battlers that came through, wasn't battling, just came through to show love and attend, take pictures with fans, talk to everybody. Um, again, I always say the culture does not get enough credit for how um, how peaceful everything is, how cool everything, like the ambiance and shit like that. Um, that yeah. was real dope. I seen a lot of uh, the whole team. Hami was there, of course. Shout out mm-hmm. to Murder. Uh, I seen Badafi Green. I am actually going to go watch him and Snake Eyes battle in a, in a minute after we done with this and uh, mm-hmm. stuff like that. But um, but yeah. So I shout out to that. You know what I'm saying? Um, hey, and, yeah. and, and on the since y'all brought up, you know how to recruit people. Shout out to EBL mm-hmm. uh, online battle league too. That that's, is that's a fact. Shout out to EBL. Shout out to EBL. Shout out to them. And uh, I'm going to drop their Discord link in our uh, chat now so you can join their joint. Join it because they do have music in there as well. Um, also join John Reels, um, you know, uh, 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 D- uh, Discord and all that. I'm, I'm blanking on the name here. Yeah, so the, the Real, Real Money. Real Money Podcast. Real Money Podcast Discord. Join them too. A lot of, lot of fresh memes in there. A lot of funny shit. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, we just have fun. Yeah, man. So join those communities. Those are out there online. I think uh, I this is no shot at anyone or anything, but Discord is the way that niggas is communicating now. Like this is not you know what I'm saying. Like it's, this, it's the new. This yeah. is what it like. We not Facebook is for detectives and grandmas. Like we not doing that. But um, <laughs> yeah. but uh, but yeah. So so that's what it is, man. I I am uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm always left after the events to really kind of think about shit, put shit in perspective. Um, mm-hmm. I it's kind of a coming off the mook shit, a little bit of a miss, a bit of a miss, but yeah, you know, it, 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 it happens miss. though. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, you know, of all the major ones, the only one I know y'all gonna 
don't care to watch Sean versus Mills. All the other ones, I'll go back and watch. I'll watch Shuni and uh, QB again for sure. And yeah, I guess he had for the battles I'll watch again. Yeah. Four battles. So, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to watch him again. Yeah. Um, Now, all right. So, so let me, let me do this. So, this is the, the this was the, the, uh, the official recap with my man, John Real. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the, uh, Pretty Money and the Real Money podcast and everything like that. Uh, shout out to the entire culture. Now, Pose, I do want to, I want to address something. Um, okay. Because we we we've done in and out of battle rap and, and things like that. We've done these hip hop segments and things like that. Yeah, I seen I seen and, the brothers try to. I, I felt away. I, I was watching that live. Yeah. Try to gang up on my on my, on my nigga man. Like yeah, I real like you can't be just catching niggas and ganging up on the brother. Oh man. no, he me. Bot- <laughs> yeah, he, they 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 whooped my ass in there. They I they did. And the one thing about Black Compass, the southern but part then of they, the but, Compass, but, is, but they yeah. made me mad. Like, cause we I, I just turned like we in our early thirties. These niggas like in they late. Mm-hmm. They try to have a like the old man voice, like yeah, these niggas don't. They got the. <laughs> I'm like, man, these niggas got me mad watching this. Shit. Like, I want to mic up, look, these niggas got me tight. They had, man, hey, y'all talking like, about man? Yeah, we talk about the, the, the we was doing the we was doing the best groups all the time. Y'all was doing yeah when y'all was saying like oh Keep yeah. <laughs> so y'all was y'all, so for everybody who didn't catch it, they was mad at me because I didn't incorporate Goody Mob in my best in my top ten. Groups here, and then they was tired at me about the future reference to, to the future with, reference. Yeah, so they tired at me I about. I what they was tired at you. I, I understood that one. I understood. Why no, no, but you. see, I thought about that afterwards. Okay, when you not from a place, I can understand exactly. Facts. Like, like if you not from like young people gonna read some shit about Michael Jordan. Look at, but if you saw Michael Jordan play, you know shit different. Mm-hmm. So I can see if you read this and the, 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 the one of Goody Mob be saying they affiliated with. with with future, you gotta go with it. It's a fact. That's you right. read that. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like here, like nigga in, in the ATL, nigga, nobody think about no fucking goodie mob no shit when they when they talk about future. Yeah, it's totally separate. But I can understand why you would say that. But but uh, overall though, we do get a lot of flack from uh, shout shout to the whole SEC everybody down there. We do get flack for uh, southern lack of southern representation. Um, so you know, so I, that 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 is what it is. And when we because I want to hop into the producers bag. And all that organized noise got to come up. I just seen a very good documentary on them on Netflix. By the I've way, I've seen that doc too. They That's gotta good. come up, son. Like they got, like they, that shit is crazy. What they was putting out. Um, yeah. But you know, as far as punching on the southern, wait, wait. Let me, John, John. Let me ask you something. Yeah. Um, Rick, uh, Rick Ross or Ti? I, I wanna, I'm do a little temperature ch- test with, uh, with, 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 with John real quick. Rick, Rick Ross or Ti? What's up, man? Ti. I think because like I, I I'm from the South, but you know all I did was listen to lyricists and people. You know people like from New York stuff growing up. I think Ti is a lyricist in denial. He tries to hide it. Even when he had the song with uh, Jay Z, Lil Wayne, all them on. I can't can't think of the swagger song. Swagger like us. Swagger yeah, he like even kind of said it. Like he always tried to hide that he's smart. Ti is a very intelligent dude. Uh, Rick Ross is like. Uh, started off a little normal and worked on his craft until he felt he got into his own. But T.I. always had it naturally. So even though I would rather listen to a, a Rick Ross, but mm-hmm. on some lyricist shit, you know, I'm, I'll ride with T.I. Okay. Okay. I'm not mad at that. And I, I'd rather listen to the Rick Ross too because his everybody know his excellent. His, his ear for beat beats. choice. Yeah. His music selection is just out of control. But, yeah. and and I like his albums more than T.I. So I, I, I'm, I think Ross is top five out of the see south. i agree I, I would see that's what i'm saying i'm conflicted i would rather you tell me right now i feeling on a sunday i'd rather put in rick ross but like just overall legendary skill set i would have to go to ya mm-hmm. yeah. i'm not into drugs and all that well rick ross do it too but <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> well what about what about um okay so so we got that now something that always comes up and chat don't hate me for this but i gotta bring mm-hmm. it up three stacks being overrated has come up yeah. multiple multiple times, and I hear I hear the asking a nigga who I hear the southern accuse that I sound like him when I rap. <laughs> like, come on, the fuck address How this. The fuck three stacks. How is he overrated? Overrated. I don't, nigga said he overrated. Yeah, they say That's, overrated. I think, yeah. I How are you? Are, they, about, are they doing some Lauren Hill shit? Like Lauren Hill. Great, but she made one album. Are they doing three stacks like that? Like he's great, but he only had like it, one album. It's Lauryn Hill treatment. It's okay. it, it is. Yeah. Uh, he's been a duo his whole career. 
So and, are we counting that Love Below shit? Like, that's the album? Like, that's the one album? Yeah, that's his album. Like, that was not supposed to be a double album. He hadn't talked to Big Boy in a long time. Big Boy came to him, and he was scared because it's so weird and different. He gave it to him and was like, this is what I've been working on. And Big Boy was like, holy shit, this is great. And Big Boy pushed him to, like, I'm going to go and make me an album. Then have a double album. So he had already made the Love Below as his own album. But without the, but like, without the backstory... Do the culture count that like yo? That's that that's his album. Like that's the one. Like that's Jay Z said he bought that double album, and I did this too. The same thing Jay Z did in real life. He said he bought it five times. Anytime he loses it back when we buy CDs, he, and he said he never took Big Boy shit out. Like he oh. just walked, wanted the love below. That's how I did. I scratched up so many love below CDs and had so many crispy goddamn Big Boy CDs. I ain't play like <laughs> <laughs> like did that. Like I, I viewed at it. That how is it not his album? Right. I just. I didn't know that. Like that nigga's yeah. like, yo, this is the, this is his, his, this is. I always knew that was his solo pride, like his effort. But I didn't know. I thought niggas just put them albums together. Speaker mm-hmm. Buck. I didn't know niggas was like, yo, this is really his solo album. Mm-hmm. Everything was done. He just called Big Boy in to get on a verse. Mm-hmm. But all that shit was had nothing to do. Big Boy didn't even know it was made. So I gotta put that as his album. Okay. Okay. But that but that be my I think I guess that's my thing with this three stacks when we talk about like not MCs like when we talk about rapping he up probably top five type shit but when we was doing an overall list I don't see how he that high we talking about just overall like your business move like everything I don't mm. see how he that he that he's he's not but that look high. at it this way the niggas who y'all think high think he high that's, that's what I that's what yeah, that was the angle niggas was saying too like yo, Kendrick <laughs> yeah. and these niggas y'all think it's them niggas they think this nigga the one so it's like but fuck all that though. Like, nah, like let's <laughs> Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, Paul. What, what what does it take? He going down in history, going down in, 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 the, in the Hall of Fame. He got a diamond plaque. Uh and and, 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 and people are crazy. I've debated this. Andre three thousand won that Grammy of the Year, not Outcast. I agree. Big Boy had yeah. one single. I don't even know none of it. I, I like what 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 was that? What was on Big Boy's side? Yeah, what did he have? Uh, he had the one with the Patty LaBelle was in the video. I don't know. It was a nice little, it was a little hit, but like a cohesive album, all the biggest hit, the biggest country in the whole world and all the, uh, man, Andre 3000 won that Grammy. Yeah. 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 The I way agree, you man. move, the way you move was a nice, like, like. Boy, that song goes, man. On some grown and the sexy way you move. lounge. What? You ever go to a lounge and the but, way but, you move? Come on. Come on. But check man. this. What you're saying is right, but the way you move. And, and I'm just going to be realistic. <laughs> the way you move is like a, a black movie that we all like, but it only stayed in the black culture. Mm. Uh, hey, y'all, is like broke out into all other cultures. You know how you yeah. want that one thing to cross over? Like, yeah, yeah we all going to love the way you move. We going to play it out, shit, cookouts and everything. But hey, y'all, is going to be, you know. Hey, y'all, was crazy. Yo. Yeah. Like yeah. The way you mo- y'all got me in there. Yeah, y'all got me feeling the way, son, on Sunday. That's a, that's a Sunday cleanup, like. Pine saw, you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. that whole equipment, and all that stuff, man. Yo, but 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 um, on some underrated shit, I think Big Boy is tragically he's underrated on some Red Man shit of the South. Like he is super duper crazy underrated. Like yeah, you are gonna get me and beat up down here, man. I'm not a big boy. Man. Oh man, come on, <laughs> come on. And now, like I'm in the ACL. Like I, I don't, I just he just he he not bad. He not bad at all. It just What's great? Let's let's go down Big Boy Great list. Ah, uh, that Sir Lucius <laughs> Left Foot shit is cool. I always liked that album, son. I ain't gonna hold you up. That tip, My nigga, right? I was trying to think of classic Big Boy verses right I'm now. Trying, I'm going through the album. I'm think of one too. So he didn't. So he didn't. So he didn't get. He he, he kind of gave. Uh, he gave Andre a little bit of work on that. Uh, uh, bombs over Baghdad. I ain't gonna hold you up. I, I always liked uh Big Boy verse as a kid and shit. But yeah, but I wouldn't, I ain't really like that song. Um, what? You like? Nah, you like Bowser? I, I think that was. I, 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 I didn't really like that. That, that album. That album had a toilet tissue and shit on there. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a real song, man. Toilet. <laughs> um, Big Boy Miss Jacks. Nah, I'm trying to think of his verse. Yeah, he was nice them up. Rosa all Parks. The classic money. All the classic moments come nah, from Andre. Nah, Me nah, and your daughter. <laughs> come got on, this man. Thing going. Rosa. Yo. Parks, I think I think he had a better verse on Rosa Parks, right? Nah, every girl no. in the every Fuck girl no. in the club stopped dancing and forever, ever. He killed, man. Come on, 
killed him. Yeah, bro. Not Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks, Andre. Rosa Parks, uh, Andre fucking snapped. That was, that was the first time I was like, one of these niggas is very much better than the other nigga. But they both was cooking, though. So Nah, I feel like Big Boy got him at least two times. Like, I just can't think. He got him. Can y'all more, right? Like, on Southern Player List. Big, yeah, Big Boy was shining because I think that was more his genre. I think Andre was trying to fit in. Yeah. So yeah. Once know, he so let Andre crazy. just be himself, it's like it, it got bad for Big, big Boy. Yeah. <laughs> like, if I was Big Boy, I'm being honest. It like, like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Pretty money, three stacks, and I'm Big Boy. I would feel uncomfortable about bragging about my Grammy, and I'm dead ass serious. Damn, son. Uncomfortable. <laughs> like, nigga, I, I, I wouldn't feel like I earned it. On that oh, double man. album, they want you know it sold ten million copies. You know, album first rap album to go album of the uh, album of the year. All okay. mm-hmm. I went for how did Big Boy earn that? That's true. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I always thought Big Boy is nice though. Shutterbugs is fire too as a single for him snapping on it like that. Um, we got to get a whole list of where Big Boy beat Andre. There's a couple times he got that nigga though. A couple yeah, times. we got to really look through it. He got him a couple times. Um. All right, so so uh, one more thing on some southern shit. Uh, Cole, Sci High, Crit. Where do you? How do you rank those? One, two, three order. Cole, Sci High, Crit. John. Um, uh, I, I was just hoping I didn't sound like uh the the way to go. Uh, but I, I can't help him. I gotta go the way to go. You know what I'm saying? Cole, Crit, Sci High. Mm. That's that's my order. I, uh, Cole, Why Cole, I know is, gonna, gonna Cole is gonna suffer the same shit you suffer from, and that's you love your community so much you want to give back. You trying these dudes to get them paid and buying these beats that aren't hot, right? Like, like to me with Nas album Godson, the worst thing about Godson was the beat selection. I agree. I thought Cole be making his. Yeah, like he, he do. Making, yeah, Cole be making so he need to let that go. He got to stop. Nah, oh, he has to stop. He has to. It's yeah. like it's like how Eminem started. Like yep. it's like when I, cause you know when you hear Eminem, you're like, oh god, here goes an Eminem beat. Like, you know, yeah, he, he got that. Like, like that, yeah, the shit sound mad DIY. Like, I'm not. You know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I hate that shit. That nigga Eminem's yeah. his ass. Lord. And my thing is like, <sighs> like when it when once the fans start noticing. Well, Rick Ross picked good beats. I mean, he had a, his cold crew knew it before we all knew it. Like you, you hear shit close in the crew. Like once everybody starts saying how Nas not choosing beats correctly, you using Chris Webber and shit or J Cole. Like what his crew got to be telling him this too. Like okay, you got the lyrics, you want to deliver your message. Let's go out and get some good beats with it. Right. But somebody got to be saying that shit too. You got to know. Um, like yeah, the, the, these people in these entourages got to be telling niggas like yeah, nah, you might want to. But but see, I feel like a lot of times with the famous people, they so insulated <clears throat> from shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it's no people be scared to tell them that they shit is whack. You need that yeah. person that's a nigga from around the way is like that, you know, since it was young was telling you when shit was whack. You need to keep that person around. Yeah. Like, nah, nigga, that's whack. I don't give a fuck that's how shit. much money you're making. Like that shit is trash. Nah, yeah, you do. You do. I feel like that's what happened with Nas last album. Niggas was scared to tell him that shit was whack. That shit about the seven track album? The, yeah, that's that, terrible. That, that, that Kanye. Yeah, oh. that shit horrible. I said horrible with an A. That shit is bad. Horrible. That shit is terrible, man. Fuck out of here. All right, so John, hey, you heard what you look yeah. what Darius said. Man, I just want to say this out loud. This is dope. Yeah. He said, "Imagine Rick Ross selecting beats for J Cole." Yo, <clears throat> classic, yeah. classic. Cole rapping off of shit like "Rich Off Cocaine" and Santorini, and you know what I'm saying? Like what? Oh, yeah. he would murder that shit. Or any of the Maybach music uh, beats, he would kill that shit. That's It's meant for Cole. Like, he's so full of shit. How come you can't yeah. get Bink and them to do something for you? Knife Wonder, nigga. Ain't he from North Carolina? Like, go call yeah. these niggas, son. Even though Posey, I forgot Posey will like Knife Wonder. <laughs> hey, I don't fuck with Knife. I don't fuck with Knife for real. I feel like, I uh, like I feel like, but I feel like Rick Ross content matched his instru- like his, the 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 beat selection, like the the shit he rapping about. It just matched how the beat like the beats for some reason. Like this the content, in my opinion. Him talking about yachts and shit. Like J Cole gonna be talking about trying to help people on them beats. It don't it don't work. <laughs> yeah, these are not help people beats. These are not yeah. altruistic. You're supposed to sell drugs yeah. and fuck bitches to this music. I don't know what you're trying to do. Yeah, Cole. yeah. J Cole need a haircut too, by the way. But that that's neither here nor there. Um, yeah, he does. He does. Cause I don't know what he's trying to do at this. Like, at first it was dreads, it was sideshow Bob. I see Hove doing that stupid 
I'm not gonna cut it, leave it nappy, but get it lined up. Shit, these niggas be doing nowadays. <laughs> Hove make it. Hove been making me mad every. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Z is doing that now. Like nigga, you fifty. He stop being like, just be you, old man. Just be old man. We still fuck with you. You old. I think I think they reading though. This stuff he talking about. He getting into black politics. And she mm-hmm. dressing like you know, like Nubian princesses. Their daughter got natural. I think they just they reading and they. Didn't oh, that, that comes with that comes with kids. it. Like when you get pro black, it comes with the. I don't do nothing to my hair. Like no. Yeah, yeah, it comes with it. Like you yeah. only uh okay. yeah, you don't brush it anymore. You just let it let it do what it's gonna do. But I thought I thought that was his uh I cheated on Beyonce and y'all know about it. I thought that was his yeah. rollout for that. I thought that that's why we was getting no shape up hove. Yeah. Egyptian pendant. So you think you think that she was the first person to answer the pro black stuff and then he got into it with her? I think it was Solange, really. I think it was Solange's yeah. influence on Beyonce. Then when she kicked that nigga in the elevator and shit, that's what that's how you know that shit was really real. Like nigga, yeah. act right. Kick the black into that motherfucker. Yeah, exactly. So and then I think niggas really started doing some reading, and then they so they so like, cra- like they crazy powerful man. Like so, I, I think they starting to get more like, all right, now we can really use this influence. Like we're billionaires. We're over. We're at one point five billion as a couple. Nobody can tell us yeah. shit. Yeah. That's what that album was about. Like yo. This is what black wealth looks like, and we still fucking black out here. So, salute the Hove, man. Hove is really yeah, the man. Shout out the Hove. Salute. Um, all right. So, I think that is about it. That about covers it. John, do you have any announcements? Uh, any anything you want the folks to know? Yeah, just just from my own mouth, cause y'all didn't. I feel bad. Y'all give my people more shout outs than me. So, just shout out to the real ass my man's uh, pretty money. Uh. Join the Discord. Make sure you go over to the YouTube page. It's called It's Been Real, R E E L. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's it, man. Fuck with it. This was a good car. ARP. One last thing. Make sure that you set up and y'all campaign for this QB versus 40 bars. Yes. So, so shout out to that. John, really appreciate you jumping up here. You already know. You're always welcome, bro. You know what I'm saying? You, you was doing this, this shit is, well before all this, this live era and all this shit going on. So, <laughs> Salute to you for fucking with us on this that. brother. This brother, one of the most like entertaining brothers. Yeah, <laughs> but like if you like when I be playing two K, like when I'm done with my priorities and it's like late as hell. Now I know he on doing some bullshit, like fucking yeah. with people. Yeah, trolling, yeah. talking, about it. rapping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Make it. Shout, shout to him making my, the rock music too. I ain't gonna hold you. That was just, that'd be my thing yeah. on Tuesday. Like I'm gonna listen to John shit, do fuckery, fuck with people, and play 2K. Like that's my Tuesday and third. What you? What days you be going live? Tuesday. And th- like, yeah, to my, this be Monday uh, morning because I'm off. But yeah, you gotta have a fuckery, man. You gotta have fun, man. People, oh, fact. Well, I be. But you know what I like that. about you, John? Like the niggas that like. I told Tone behind us behind the scene. I said, "This is why I like John because we like to talk about battle rap." But it used to, it was like a little period where it was dark web niggas that kept mm-hmm. like, create narrative, fact, and start fucking. What you breaking up, Pose? You breaking up? Breaking up? That's that dark web fucking with him. Well, yeah, one more time. Kept... Dark web's attacking the stream. But go ahead, go ahead, uh, Pose. <laughs> I said that. I said John used to because remember the remember the era where the uh, the, the flag and shit happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then niggas was like, "Yo, y'all like." The dark web niggas start t- like, yo, y- nigga, y'all niggas is doing it. Champion is doing it. John came here and start like dealing with dark web niggas, make it like trolling them, making them mad. Hell yeah, you, you got to take the power from people. Like, sure, you ain't scared. And then like that way y'all can have fun. Y'all can do y'all stuff. And then I don't care if they fuck with me. Like, I like yeah, so, it. So John kind of took the heat like, yo, John handling them. Now we could get back to work, man. John is like really making them niggas mad. Like he's sitting these niggas down one by one. One, <laughs> yo, by one. Yo. That man, I, I said, I said, if I wake up one day and I got man to man to Tony, bro. Oh God, I'm getting off Twitter. Like I'm not. No, like leave me alone for about a week. I'm gonna let that shit go over. He just texted me. He just texted me asking me who I had in the ear wheel versus uh uh calico mm. shit. Mm. So I'm telling yeah. you, I got a podcast. Okay, okay. Yeah, man, shout out to ARP, man. He really cares about the quality of his shit. He always That's asks for shit like that. Oh, uh, by the way, the people who didn't get a chance to see Cal Ill Will, he, was, he said he was going to issue refunds, partial refunds to those people. So uh, ARP, shout out to you for doing that. We'll hold you to it. Um, but yeah. I think with that being said, man, on behalf of Battle Rap. Like, and, uh, yeah. for sure. Oh, no, I forgot the Patreon. Go to the Patreon. If you got the Patreon, we put the story. We put. We got the last show up there. We, mm-hmm. we got the tales from the crypt shit up there. We got the story time. So 
Yeah. Go, uh, go, go, go join the Patreon if y'all haven't, man. Some shit up there. And if you are involved with the Patreon, you will get this show on the Patreon, like right after we hang up. So you, this will be available to you. All right, I want to go off. Yeah. You feel me? Anyway, we are, I think we all good. We up out of here, man. Black Compass. On behalf of the entire team, on behalf of Battle Rap, shout out to everybody involved with the RBE event. You know what I mean? Uh, congrats on another safe, good, good event. You know what I'm saying? Shit we got to talk about and all that, man. So the battlers and Battle Rap. Um, Black Compass, Real Money Podcast, John Real. We up out of here. Holla. Peace.